And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, live Tuesday. Hi, I'm Dan Soder, and this is The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Big J. Okerson, Papa J down in D.C., slinging stories with Ari Shafir, Joe List, Mark Norman, and Sal Volcano. Go see him if you're in D.C. And, Jay, if you're listening, I miss you. It's only been a day. Filling in the unofficial third mic of The Bonfire, Pennsylvania's Sheets Nation Zone, Shane Gillis. Yo, let's get it. Let's get it. She's um, Asian. R.I.P. Cooper. We out here. Cooper's gone. R.I.P. Cooper. Cooper passed? Cooper died. How did, how did Cooper pass? Uh, train. Train? What yeah, a badass way to go out. Got hit by yeah, a train. Did he really get hit by a train? <laughs> no, oh, no, I, like, no, I don't know what kind of fucking middle Pennsylvania dude, way his dog's Coop died. dog died, dude. Coop ate a bullet. What? He ate it's, it. It's a listener's dog. It's a listener's it? dog. Oh, no. <laughs> really? <laughs> Soder's over here trashing this dead dog. Dude, I thought it was in your family. I'm sorry for, <laughs> for Cooper's. Owner. I didn't know, man. Shout out Cooper, dude. Dude, Cooper, good what a run. good dog. Hell of a run. I'm sorry for the loss sorry of Cooper. Sorry for that fucking Amtrak. All, dog, all dogs go to heaven. He shouldn't try to outrun trains. <laughs> it's a fast dog. It's a greyhound. I try to spin it. Um, yeah, we. Uh, it's good to... You've guest hosted with Jay. He's tried to steal mm. you away. Mm. And I, I was just going to be spiteful and have Fenoya guest host. <laughs> <laughs> just be like a little bitch and just be like, hey, Mike, now we're best friends. But I was like, dude, this is the guy that I'm running an NCAA dog, dynasty, we dynasty with. Dynasty. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, dude, I haven't seen you. I've been in oh. Colorado. You're in Pennsylvania. Yeah, what? Man. Why'd you owe that? I know what you've been up to. What? Lady sex? You've been having sex. With I was having lady. sex too, dude. Yeah, you got it. I fucking thought of you the whole time. <laughs> yes. Every time I fucking cummed, I was like, dude. oh, fucking Danny. <laughs> Good friendship. <laughs> Every time. You're I was just like, nothing. I, you go, what's Dan doing bro, now? It was just, you know how right when you come, you have that moment of clarity? Yeah. First thought. You're the first thing I think of. I make her say hell yeah for me to finish. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, <laughs> like, say, oh. say like, oh. hell yeah, dude. And she goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to give me that comment? Hell yeah. <laughs> only, if, I'm like, only if you say it. I will say it. You say, say the two it. words. Unlock the gate. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Where is Jacob? Dude, I'm surprised he's not here, fucking hard eyeing you. He I think be, Jacob has a here. Jacob has a thing for Shane. He yeah. Does love Shane? He does, right? In we a way, make, like we would make good lovers. <laughs> just an old man and a young bull, just oh, getting dude. deep up in him, dude. You would, <laughs> just pounding him, feeling just all of them deep inside of Jacob, feeling all, his whole body wrapped around yours. I'd make him scream like Logano, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, oh. no one can make him scream like Logano. Right when it first you, penetration. Would you ever let Jacob fuck you? Yeah, dude. I'm a generous lover. So, But would you start or finish? Would You're you the be? bigger guy. So you think if you go first, maybe there's not a round, but you let mm. him go first, there's a guaranteed second round. Mm, yeah, I would take him from behind first. <laughs> you yeah. wipe he, your pre-cum on your dick? I, I every, <laughs> dude, I get thrown off every time. I would finish. Yeah. He might finish. At the That's same time. That's how strong I would be. Do you, would you, my friend, <laughs> we, used to watch, we used to watch high school basketball games. My buddy would get in my ear and tell me how he would fuck one of the dudes on the other <laughs> <laughs> but like in a way where he'd be like, it's not gay because it would be uh, missionary and his dick would rub up against my stomach, therefore getting him hard. And he's like, you, he's like, what if someone did that to you and you enjoyed it and you didn't want to? I was like, stop. We'd just be watching a high school basketball game. <laughs> he'd just be in my game. ear like, ah, dude. Jacob, we were talking about you and Shane's sexual chemistry. It's palpable. <laughs> mm. Dude, he's dressed up today? Yeah. I know. Listen, I know Jay. There's jealous Jay, but I'm jealous Dan now. Yeah. You didn't throw that on. That's a pressed shirt. You, you ironed good, that. Did you get that? Thanks, Where'd man. you get that shirt? Uh, Peter Manning. It's for guys under five eight. That, dude? It's for guys under five eight. That, really? That's the five <laughs> one. Is tiny man? It's a large and tall. I didn't know there was a fucking little person the tiny shop. Guy thing. Why do you got to put it like that? I don't know. How do? What's the Peter soft Manning? turn about that? Is it Peter Manning? Just say you got oh, it at Peter it's Manning. Changed my life. This store. Hello, welcome to Peter no. Manning. Well, you don't have to drop your voice. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm, I'm Peter Manning, and I'm five foot two, you know but what? stout. It's Do they give you lollipops cut. when it's, you walk in? It's about <laughs> like, hey, little guy. It's about Are you good at making chocolate? <laughs> Michael J. Fox buys clothes there. Well, I don't know if he buys them. Someone. Oh, no, he's on the website. <laughs> yeah. 
Damn, that's so demeaning going in there. At least big and tall, they're not well, behind They're like, yo, are you a fat fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you fat as hey, fuck? Get in here. Hey, house. Hey, house, you want to buy a fucking jacket? <laughs> we got some big dog t-shirts oh, for man. you. You're going to be dead, so this material's not that good. <laughs> hey, Andre the Giant Disease. <laughs> Your heart's going to kick hey, freak, and Get out of Sears. Come down here. We got some fat shirts for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Little guy, they had to hide it. That sucks. Well, they have to put a name in front of yeah. him. Like, are, are you going to Peter Harrington? Oh, it's Peter Manning. Tiny shit. Dude, what, what if the it, fuck? Peter Manning. Well, good for Peter Manning. He was a little guy with a fucking head full of steam. Normally, I'm Banana Republic, but I'm telling you, it's just, it's all about the proportion. Like, everything you like. It is. When H&M. Everything's wider, and they make the shirts, make, like, a regular shirt will be a dress on me. Mm -hmm. It's just too much. So too if you long. sleep over at Shane's house. I can just see him walking out in my sheets camera <laughs> down to his knees. He goes, hey, baby, is there any iced tea in the fridge? <laughs> Shane rolls over. Morning, lover. Ooh. Oh, I'd be filling that goatee up. <laughs> yeah. You guys would have passionate sex. I it love definitely it when a guy smell... compliments my vibe. You're... The post-sex would smell like ham. <laughs> of course it would. <laughs> Open butt and ham. Pre-sex would smell like ham. Yeah. There'd be a lot of ham you smells. Would... Shane and Jacob doing the whole like, yeah? Yeah? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. My... <laughs> my... Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, I knew you, when I saw Donald Trump lay out that fast food meal for Clemson yeah. University, immediately I was, I know for a fact that Shane's way on board with this meal. I've, I couldn't have been more on board with that <laughs> fucking meal, dude. If you ever were wondering if fucking Shane was down with Donald Trump, he, he dropped all those hamburgers on Clemson. I mean, if there hadn't been multiple players on Clemson, they're like, wait, we're just getting fucking hamburgers and pizza? For sure. But mo I bet there was a good majority of guys that are like, fucking, all right, yeah. a Whopper? You get a Whopper and a fucking Chicken Asiago Ranch? And you get to hang out with Donnie Trump? No, there's no way he hung out. You think he just milled around? It was mostly white players. <laughs> so he definitely chilled. <laughs> really? There's none of the black players, what? A lot of the black players respectfully declined. They're like, I'm good. But the Very white guys are like, I'm well, sure. I get to eat burgers with the man with yeah, four dude. five? Well, it is Clemson. There was a lot of South Carolina walk-ons that were probably like, oh, holy shit. Dude, so I just want to let you know I am a big fan of everything <laughs> you're doing. <laughs> That's I second. won that championship for you. Classic yeah. South Carolina, though. The black guys did all the work, and then the white guys went to the White House and were like, we did it. We, we all the Clemson <laughs> champions. Where's your running back? I am the running back. <laughs> the fifth yeah, string yeah, guy that's yeah. there for GPA. <laughs> He goes, my name is Tulsa McNulley the third. I own this land. Dude, Trump daddy dishing out burgers. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so funny. So and sick. look, he's in a, to, he's like in his coat like he's leaving. He's single momming him. He's, like he's like, guys, dinner's on the counter. I'm going to be right back. Okay. okay. I got to run out. His do the fucking candles. outfits, dude. His outfits. Whoever his tailor is, is out of their fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> he dresses like, he looks like the fucking caterpillar from Wizard or from fucking Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Every, his torso, Dude, every jacket he wears, his he, torso is huge. He looks like multiple kids are hiding it in always. him. Like, and they're controlling yes. him under a coat. <laughs> like, if you opened it and it was eight year olds, <laughs> so like, and then it would make a lot of sense. Yes. If Trump was just filled with eight year olds, and they're like, what do you want to give Clemson? He goes, hamburgers. I love hamburgers. <laughs> yeah. They're like, get out of the way. The kid on the bottom's like, shut, shut up. He'd say, like, shrimp or something. Say broccoli, too. <laughs> Had broccoli. Moms like broccoli. Give it away. <laughs> just kids are running Trump. Trump is We're just clearly an autistic man. Yeah. <laughs> and people don't give... We should, as a country, should be very proud of ourselves for that's, electing the first autistic man. You think that's how the right should sell it? That's how the right should be selling it. They like, go, Listen, really? He's going to make some erratic choices. Good luck with your razor commercials. <laughs> yeah. We picked a special man. A special man to represent us. He's very special. <laughs> Burgers. Burgers. They're like, how do we keep him out? Get a wall. Get <laughs> he goes, a wall down there. Bad guys don't like walls. He goes, just bad guys? <laughs> yeah. Bad guys don't like the walls. <laughs> Dude, that, I just the one head slap when he said hamburgers in the room. <laughs> like, what should we get him? He's like, hamburger. Someone goes, fuck. Fuck it. God damn it, dude. <laughs> just, can you get one right? Dude, what? Can this guy get one fucking if thing right? If he said tacos, that would have been better. <laughs> just spaghetti. Something. Although, if he would have got fried chicken, that would have been the... <laughs> I mean, if he would have had Clemson's football team, it got him. Everyone at CNN would have been playing Ookie Cookie in oh, the middle. <laughs> They'd be oh. like, did he say chicken? Let's all just jerk off to it. <laughs> See, You just hear everyone at CNN come at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Atlanta is flooded with jizz. CNN. Oh, I said jizz and you looked right at Jacob. I have big jizz. <laughs> is Atlanta the names of Jacob's butt? Is that oh, man. man. That's be biblical. <laughs> I go to Atlanta all the, all the time. I'll be in Atlanta. You're going to be in Atlanta. Yeah. When? 
January 25th. It sounds like <laughs> right, I, just, I just, for some reason, went right into my own plug. I'll be in Atlanta January 24th through the 26th at the Punchline, and Big J will be at the DC Improv. If you can't catch him tonight, catch him January 24th through the 26th. After that, he's going to be at Cap City in Austin, Texas, February 14th through the 16th. Perfect. Lewitsky. Get tickets at BigJComedy.com and check out Shane's podcast, Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast on iTunes. Ooh. In fact, Ooh. why don't we just fucking rip the whole top Ooh. off? I don't know if it's uh, you think the boys are ready? I think the boys are ready. Uh, jo- also joining us on the show a little early, please welcome the other half of the Matt and Shane Secret Podcast, Matt McCusker, everybody. Wow. Get in here, dude. What's up, dude? Wow. I really do look... I like that we look like a night crew digging up pipes <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> the three of us are like, yeah, dude, he's doing pickaxe. I got shovel. Whatever. I'm back. Yeah, I'm murdered out because this is our fucking enemy's funeral, dude. Matt, <laughs> Matt and Shane's secret podcast fucking finally rides, on the airwaves. Dude, rides. Rides. dude it's choice. nice to have you on the show. I did your podcast, but yeah, it's you did. yeah up in New York. Yeah, I still have the edibles you gave me in my refrigerator. The little gummies. Yeah, nice. I've ate one. I haven't ate all of them though. Right. I just keep them in the refrigerator because he said it was such a oh the freezer. Oh fuck! I put them in the, the freeze. Yeah. Oh shit! I put them in the refrigerator. Is it, am I in trouble? I could do a little. I could do a little bear swap for you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Dude, you gotta watch those. I can resuscitate bears. those bears. I ate one. Give you a little bear transfusion. <laughs> I ate one and I fell completely asleep on the couch. So that's the good sign. Perfect. I was gonna give it to Vecchione, but I don't want him fucking spiraling. Yeah, he would, yeah. I gotta be careful. <laughs> it's really fun. It's fun because it reminds me living with Vecchione is like uh, when I used to give my mom's catnip. <laughs> Like, have you ever just fucked a cat up on catnip and yeah. kept going? When I give edibles to Vecchione, that's what it feels like. Like, who? Yeah, it's, it's like, he's not going to come back from this. Yeah, or when I'm just <laughs> fucking peel out of the kitchen, he loses his footing. <laughs> like, Vecchione's like, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, uh. You got to watch those gummies, dude. I, especially because sometimes it's you not. You make them yourself? Yeah. How did you learn how to make edibles? Trial and error. <laughs> Thomas Edison, dude. Thomas, Thomas Edibles. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of, of, a lot of sleep, a lot of staring at the ceiling. A lot of ups, mostly downs. Yeah. No, nah, YouTube actually has a lot of good stuff. Yeah? Yeah, you can watch YouTube to like make anything, really. I feel like YouTube shortened everything, so like back in the day, if you wanted to know how to make edibles, you had to take your time and like meet a weird guy in a van who was like, I'll teach you, and now you're like, fucking six-minute video on YouTube. I definitely studied under the tutelage of some yeah. weird van. van. You, got, yeah. you were an apprentice? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's an old-school wizard, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what he calls him. Old conjurer. He's just a pervert that lives in the woods. <laughs> yeah. He goes, "I'll teach you how to make fucking candies." That's that a fuck naughty you wizard, up. dude. That's a naughty wizard. You don't want that. <laughs> no, I, le- I learned. I, I didn't know because I when I was like nineteen, I used to make them, and I didn't know like when I used to make the butter, you're supposed to stir it in for like a half an hour. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't understand the process of like vaporization. So I, I don't like, even understand that. Best. I didn't know that. Like, I thought you had to like directly smoke weed out of a bong to get high. I didn't understand. Like, if I sat over a vat of boiling weed oil <laughs> yeah. for half an hour staring at it, I would leave and be like, what the fuck is going on? So you just got rocked. Yeah. I would get ripped every time I did it. I'm like, what's wrong with me? I was just getting in my body. I didn't eat it yet. It was crazy. <laughs> she was breathing in Dude. the vapors. <laughs> I've seen I've seen a couple failures. I was a part oh, of a yeah. fire. I was a part of a kitchen fire. Yeah, yeah. We were roommates. Yeah. And I just lit out in the kitchen. There was a huge fire. Yeah, I made a grain alcohol tincture. Wow. Put it near the open flame. It took off on me. <laughs> like, and he, At I what point say. when the fire goes up, because you're the roommate, right? Yeah. You're living with them. So when the when the kitchen starts on fire, <laughs> I just the, is the reaction like, no, 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 no. It was, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm, I, a pa- I'm a panic yeah, I leave Matt, that cool. Matt panics right away. I'm <laughs> I very, freeze. very I'm a- calm <laughs> in these situations. So I'm just like, all right, just take it outside. Be. It's like, oh, fuck, dude, fuck, dude. <laughs> I just go in. A, if something bad happens, I start doing a circle. You, you cartoon it? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I, yeah. yeah, I cut my fingers open the second week we were there. I was opening a knife set with another knife. Yeah, I fucking put my hand. I put my hand in danger. To really blood spurting everywhere. Did you he did this see- circle, and Shane's like, "All right, stop." And I was like, "Tell me what to do. I'll do it." You see that scar on my finger right there? What you got? Ooh. Yeah, that one across there. I got hammered at a party, and this girl. Uh, this is when I was in college. She looked like Aunt Becky, but she was like slutty Aunt Becky from Full House. I love sluts, dude. Shout out sluts. Yeah. All the slut listeners, giving it out, giving it out, giving it out. Yeah. Uh, but we were at this house party. She had banged my roommate like six months earlier. Amir, and he was like, yeah, she's me and hot. Her body's good. And she, we're both just hammered. And, and I'm talking to her and she's like, Joe, 
let's go back to your house and do shots. And I was like, all right. Say and, no more. And I had Jose Cuervo. Like, and I tried, my fucking hand <laughs> I tried cutting a lime and just went halfway into my finger and just pulled the knife out and the blood was like blue. And I was just like, no, 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 no. Oh, you got to no, say, no, you got to no, hide no, no, it? No. Yeah. So I put, a, I put Band-Aids on, gauzed it up, put paper towels around. Dude, ended up hooking up with her. We're hooking up. I look, my, dude, look up to my hand because my hand's on my thing, and it's just covered in blood. Like, bad, covered in blood. And I'm like, stay in there. Stay in there. Oh, oh dude, that, was, uh, that wasn't my proudest moment. You're like a Civil War surgeon right away. You're like, I don't know what tools I have or how modern medicine works, but we got to fix this fucking wound. The weirdest part was my roommate helped me with the cut, and he had fucked her six months earlier. And he's just standing there with his new, his new girlfriend, and he's like, hey, try that. Like he doesn't yeah, know like, her. Yeah. He's I was like, like your uh, corner guy. Yeah, he's like, come <laughs> get on, in there. get out there. <laughs> just stick with the right. Stick with the right. Yeah, that was one of those things where, and then it, there was just perm, now I have permanent nerve damage on the left side. Can of my you feel finger. it? Uh, I, there's a part of my finger I can't feel for like yeah, right yeah. over here. And then if I if I rub my finger along it on the right side, it feels like itchy and fucked up. And worth weird. it. Yeah, worth, worth it. it for sure. One hundred percent worth it. One hundred. She looked exactly like Aunt Becky from Full House. <sighs> Damn. Oh, that. I thought you were talking about like a generic Aunt Becky. Yeah, like, I'm you fine. Know, Becky, I, yeah, just, yeah, I just yeah. thought of all my hot aunts and yeah. like hug extra long. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. The ones you press Your against. uncle gets a new girlfriend. Dude, you're yeah. like, let me hug Aunt Janice again. I did that with my dad's girlfriend, Cheryl. Ooh. Cheryl, dude. dude Cheryl. Smash those tits against yeah. you. Dude, she'd be belly like, button, damn. Button. Christmas I got, party I, tits. Yeah, I came back when I was 12 and I was like, what's up? Yeah, Lori Laughlin. Oh, wow. man. Oh. Uh, that girl had a real bad cocaine problem, so I hope she's okay. Really? She's got a real Fox News pundit look Isn't to her, you know? Wasn't that what Uncle... That's what Uncle Jesse did, right, in Full House. He's a Coke dealer. Was he? Yeah, that's how he lived in the basement (laughs) off the radar. Jesse and the Rippers? That whole place was a front for him to fucking dump blow into San Francisco. Look at that San Francisco cocaine dealer. Definitely selling Coke, 100%. Yeah, he was blowing it up her ass like Stevie Nicks. You know what I mean? (laughs) Dude, Aunt Becky and Uncle Jesse were wild. No one imagines that's the sex life. He had those eight balls, dude. Do you think Danny Tanner's is downstairs whacking it? Just hearing that attic love. <laughs> Definitely, dude. Dude, Joey, in real life, Joey Gladstone's a fucking full-on psycho that you don't allow. Really? A commu- no, I'm saying, like, in the show. Oh, yeah, yeah that's t- a- <laughs> idiot that lives with your kids? <clears throat> yeah, it's a bad move. Now that we're all comics, you can agree. It's not. I wouldn't live no, with my no. fucking... Yeah, that, that would get broken up by DHS. There's probably like a code yeah. thing where they'd be like, nah, you can't have... Nah. We can't do that. <laughs> Fuck Full House. Yeah? So? Yeah, fuck full house. That's a controversial stance you're taking, Shane. <laughs> I'm a Family Matters guy, dude. Yeah, Urkel, oh, dude. Hell yeah, Black Lou, dude. Are you Put woke? Oh, Shane's I'm woke. Not... Shane's... I'm step by step. Really? Because yeah. I like sluts. Oh, I love sluts, too. So what do you like? Black Lives Matter, dude. <laughs> <laughs> family <laughs> Lives Matter. Family Lives Matter. Family Lives Matter. Yeah, Urkel. I just call that show Urkel. So like, yeah. let's go watch Urkel. I'm like, sick. I was always cheering for him. Urkel? Yeah. Yeah. I was I hoping he got that pussy. He never I, really did. I didn't. I was keeping him away. He's that hot from, nerd friend. No, nah, I wanted him away from Laura, dude. You dude. felt uncomfortable? You felt like it was going to turn into something? Uh, yeah, he was getting kind of aggressive in some of them. I mean, he was coming up with schemes all the time. He had the scientific <laughs> background. As someone that makes edibles, you know he could make a fucking roofie. True. Did I do that? <laughs> He's in court. Did I do that? I, you can't prove that I did that. It's a goddamn Chicago police officer. That's a Chicago police officer's daughter. That's why she was raped in the basement. <laughs> That's why I switched to Stefan, dude. He's yeah. Being he was like, no, dude, Stefan was that was his Kaiser Soze. That was the real yeah. Urkel. Yeah, and then he just came in. Like, well, he's like, hey, fuck him, dude. He tried to like. I thought you just said fuck Full House, dude. Nah, fuck. Where fuck are you at all now? Them, dude. Who are you with now? You with Larry Applewhite? I'm with TRL. Pal? That's the only show I ever liked. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm live. I love children shouting at me. Woo! Um, Let's get some skull going, dude. Yeah, put in a dip. Shout out, cancer. <laughs> Shout out, mouth cancer. Um, Damn. I sent a video. Of this little rapist. Urkel's hard as fuck right now, dude. Yeah. My dreams come true with a kiss. Steve, did you eat that moldy cheese? Don't hold back. I didn't realize how Let young they were. Yeah. They were. Real young kids trying to get pussy on this. Yeah, dude, I'd be like, I, I'd almost ask what's up with the Urkel. Like, Mr. and Mrs. Urkel, is he exposed to sexual situations? <laughs> yeah. He's like a nine-year-old, and he's coming hyper, hyper-sexual at my daughter. Wait, did Urkel ever have parents in that show? They died. He killed them. 
How do you die? <laughs> they smashed them with the Urkel robot. Train. Train. They tried to outrun a train. <laughs> train. Everyone dies that Coop, way. Dude. <laughs> dude. So rest in peace, Cooper. I apologize. All dogs go to heaven. Yeah, that's one thing that's been happening on Facebook is in the Facebook campers group. Yeah. People's dogs die. They post them now. <laughs> So I'm like, I'll get on there to be like, yo, is anyone, you know, give me yeah. some nice things to say? And I'll be like someone's dead dog. I'm like, ah, oh, god damn. God damn it. Stop sad it, Sad every time. Really? It is sad, but it's nice. It actually is nice, I think. So anyway, that's my that's take a, on that. Uh, yeah, but it's funny. That, radio. That's how you. That's how you influenced our Facebook group. <laughs> yeah, let's post your dead dogs, dude. <laughs> you came in and you're like, hey, you know a radio show that takes nothing seriously? Let's take the loss of some dogs. <laughs> let's, let's take it to the next level. Oh, man. I stand by that dog getting hit by a car video, though. Oh, that Remember was the that? one you brought up on the that show. Was, that led to Pippa No. Yeah, and also that dog getting hit is not funny. Because dog getting hit is funny. fucking by, smashed. What do you get hit by? Car. <laughs> It's a, da- it's a dash cam, and a dog tries to cross the street. You and just, just get punted off. The Russian speeds the up. The Russian speeds it. up, dude. You hear a thud. <laughs> yeah, dude, right. but the dog bounces off and away. Yeah, there dude, it is. Dogs, yeah, fired are, up dogs again, are like dude. squirrels in Russia. Dude. <laughs> 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 they're, like, they're like kangaroos in Australia. <laughs> fired like up. a problem. Well, here he comes. Oh, he fucking tried. <laughs> Did you just see the butt lift? And it's just that noise. He looks exactly like Riggins, dude. Dude, right here, he's like, oh, God. Oh. oh. Who let the dog down? <laughs> oh. one, of the, one of the Baja men fucked up. Oh. That's just, no one knows the dark beginnings of this song. Dude, he that fucking, it's, That's all it's about, is one of the Baja men killed another one. screaming on a porch. And they're like, who actually, let the dog like, say, Scream that again, dude. Did you do it three times? I never, we got goes, any steel drums? Dude, he is. Pretty he fucking is. good. All right. He, he goes, aimed I'm, for that. I'm sorry you lost Concord, but. I'll buy you a bunch of dogs, yeah. dude. I'm sorry you lost, hit. I'm sorry you lost Marley. But let's get into this. <laughs> dude, he went for that. He, like, veered with the dog. <laughs> he yeah. followed it. He do was, think, like, followed Do you think that. before he did it, he went, hey, hey, watch. You want to see something fucked up? <laughs> his kid. Like, his girl. Watch. His girl. Boom. <laughs> his that was like a missile. His girlfriend's son with him. And they're just driving down. He goes, hey, watch this. <laughs> Home before 11, dude. <laughs> That's how I operate. It's so fucked up. That was a step kid. was like, I want a dog for Christmas. He's like, yeah. Here's yeah. a dog. He goes, <laughs> nailed it. Or he's like, one. I hate you a dog. But driving around, he goes, I hate you, Rick. I never wish you. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's this? <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, no, dude. All right. It's not funny now. Uh, we watch it. It's still, oh, it's still hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> still hilarious. I don't know if it's a harder time me watching this video or when Jay and I watched the lady getting her head taken off by the pole. In the oh, Jeep. That's Ooh, that's that one's pretty high. That one's worse for you than the dog. Yeah, yeah. The dog has a bad. funny noise. Although I guess the lady head has a funny noise too. Well, let's see if we can oh. if we find it. It's a tink. It's a tink where it's like. <laughs> you know, you never like, saw that. Oh, have you ever watched college? Yeah, I saw do you ever watch oh. college baseball and they just send a line yeah. drive to the shortstop? And you're like, Fuck! It's yeah. like that. We're like, oh god, I hope he gets his glove up. Oh, Ping. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's but it's like that. If the bat was a fucking phone pole, oh, she had she had it coming. I, mean, I talked about it on the show yesterday, but the Russian Russian people are mad at me for my joke. Apparently, <laughs> for what? For saying that Russians are the scariest white people. She called me a nationalist. Uh, here it is. Whoa. So she's topless. Is she Russian? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can see death, but not tits. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, this is terrible. Never mind. Uh... <laughs> oh, what? They, what? Oh, they edited oh, it. That's a, te- that's a trailer? <laughs> yeah. It's the teaser. This summer, what happens when a Russian slut goes to the Dominican <gasps> Republic? Oh, slut, dude, I don't she's know. dead. Have some fucking respect. Yeah, right. That angel. That fucking I mean, dude, that's a slut angel, dude. That iron curtain she's angel. She's up there sucking dick in heaven right now. <laughs> gonna, I want to blow entire 1980s Russian hockey team for not competing in gold. It's me, Russian slut angel. <laughs> that is a glorious slut death to be outside of a car like, Whee! That's, that how, is, that's how you let a slut go. That's, yes. That's how you return him into the wild. Like celebrate now. <laughs> yeah. You go celebrate naked and die. You're at die sandals. You're at sandals right now. It's you easy. did it. You made oh, slut man. Super Bowl it's sandals. Either, <laughs> sandals. You made it. That's where. That is, that's the promise. Like, Pro you, you found. You found a guy that's willing to pay for a lot of. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Going to sandals. I'm going to sandals. I'm gonna run up a tab. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many daiquiris and start a fight with a guy in a lobby. I thought it was all inclusive. Why? <laughs> I don't speak your language. Have you guys been to a sandals? Matt, Matt hates women, dude. It's fun no, to get him going. Hate, I don't hate fucking women. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is like the that one. fucking toe, bro. Like that air. Uh-oh. Oh, my 
my gosh. You don't see her head come off or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> just grab this mouth. It's hard to watch. It's fun. I'll tell you this. Oh. This is where. This is why Jay is so brilliant, because he had the brilliance to make me watch it in tough, enough time, so I was desensitized. Yeah, you are. He clockworked orange me. <laughs> so now I just know. Dude, she right leans down. back, and she yells something, and then she <laughs> <laughs> it sounds cartoonish. It's like you know in uh, you know in kung fu movies where they make a punch and it goes and it has that sound. That's what that sound is. It's like. Speaking, can you bring up the video that I emailed you right now of oh. the little girl fighting the grown man? Well, it's not really a fight, <laughs> but you guys saw this article. I found this online. This uh, it's on Yahoo. Just right in the front, they're like, yeah. "Man is sentenced for punching teenager," and you're like, "How good of a punch is this?" And then you see the video. There he Whoa. is. Oh no, dude, he looks like a Civil War reenactor. <laughs> <laughs> At the bonfire SXM on Twitter. Uh, I'm usually for the Union, so I'm not. A, <laughs> I'm not for this. Nah, that guy's a Confederate. Yeah. We saw his actions, dude. They go, what's this gray uniform <laughs> Damn, in the back? Uh, 51, dude. That's the perfect time to commit a hate crime in front of Walmart when you're 51 years old. Is this in front of a Walmart? Yeah, so he breaks, definitely. Is he? he's breaking up a fight. There's a bunch of teenagers. We'll tweet it out. We'll tweet out the news article. But he breaks up a fight, and then a girl, he pushes a girl. She, girl he gets pushed early. He gets pushed early. But they're surrounding him. Big kung he's fu got, he's got movie like fashion. He's got his little girl and his wife right there. <laughs> so he's in full fucking animal mode. Where's his, his little Kill Bill his, red one those, off, That's his daughter and wife, I think. Okay. That's how I saw it. Dude, what if he got I, the, I just instantly he, stood up for the white guy in my yeah. mind. I was like, well, they had it coming. <laughs> what if he got in the middle of it and did the fucking, Ooh. <laughs> come here. I don't think, Damn. if he would have done that, that lady would have still had no fear. She ran at him. Yeah. Mm. She only feared God. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> only one that can stop me and God! And, and apparently wham. this left straight. And this guy just fucking connects. So let's play the video. <laughs> Oh, push from behind. He's like, guys, stop. They're coming at him. And then finally... Looks like Merkface. <laughs> yeah, dude, it does look, look, look a lot like Merkface Andy. <laughs> okay. He pushes her. Boom. Okay. And nice. then here she comes. Wow! I mean... Oh, wow. Footwork is perfect. I mean, she he, put him up. He she did, did put up her dukes. Dude. Yeah, but why? He, yeah, but he, ah! I mean, he dude, she folds. That's a fucking. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, that's a rough one. Yeah, I mean, he read her hands and came around. Oh, with I mean, dude, if we're breaking down fight, if we're breaking down the fight, he, he was per he Conor sure. McGregor. It, it like when, it's like when Jose Aldo fucking yeah. rushed. Yeah, he rushed at him. <laughs> dude, do you think he gave the banker this, punch? Do you think Damn. if you're this guy, you give the Conor McGregor? No one can stop this left hand. Started strutting. <laughs> he knocks a kid out and he goes, "I told you, you're not ready for this hand." Scottish McGregor. <laughs> Scottish McGregor. I mean, Damn. Yeah, that's uh, you're going to. He's going to jail, right? For, yeah, I think definitely. she was. How old was she? Wasn't she, she was like, like 11? She was young, dude. 51-year-old Stephen Bell 12. brutally assaulted. She was 12, a, dude. Jesus. 12? Yeah, she, he's guilty. Yeah. That's dude, guilty as charged. Dude, that guy's going to have a tough time in jail. Is that an L.L. Bean fleece, too? Oh, yeah. Dude, he's wearing the softest of fleeces. <laughs> Damn, dude. Dude, black dude, catalog's wearing... going to be lit next year. It's going yeah. to be people just headlocking <laughs> young black chicks. L.L. Bean goes, I think we go with it. They're in a boardroom. What do you mean? We show that all of our clothing is good for fighting black teenagers. <laughs> Look at these new dungarees we have with knees that you can get on the concrete if you're breaking up a fight at a local mall. Uh, Dude, it happened at Black Mountain, North Carolina. Uh, what says here? A public really? It's a the name of the name? town is Black Mountain. You connect the fight? Dots? That yeah. sounds like the worst water park. Where? What is it? <laughs> Black Mountain. <laughs> Black Mountain. <laughs> Rider, <laughs> Rider must have socks. <laughs> yeah. It's all it's all recycled water. They go. They get it from the city. They drain the shit out. Uh, they say during the course of the fight on Saturday evening, a fight involving juveniles occurred at the Asheville Mall. Juvenile. Yeah, it wasn't juvenile. He goes, you going to knock out my little sister, huh? Oh. <laughs> you punch it. You were getting hard looking at them little brawls, huh? Oh. <laughs> you worried about your daughter and your little baby girl, huh? You knocking out 11-year-olds in front of Walmart, huh? <laughs> you folding them like chairs, huh? <laughs> you punch Hate crime juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> juvenile comes out for this guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, getting harassed find... by a bunch of black teens, huh? <laughs> you don't know how to act, huh? Can you bring up ha? Huh? By yes, that oh, song's so good, dude. <laughs> good. So we just listened to that on the way back from Boston. <laughs> yeah. I was blasting that. Yeah, dude. God. This takes me back to the 90s. 
potatoes. Oh, oh, you, potato. oh yeah. you punch a little black girl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not going to let them punk you, you huh? You L.O. Bean you, huh? Goes, oh, you drop your hands, but it'll get started. Dude, man. He was at the start of, I mean, like, Lil Wayne was like a 16-year-old teenager in this yeah. group. Yeah. He could have got knocked out by that guy. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> we told Weez to stay in the house. <laughs> Don't yeah. fight knocking out kids. I mean, man, that takes... Love Did he have another it. album after that? Because he had this and backed that ass up. Which he has, like, this was his first, albums. right? Yeah. Juvenile is prolific. I feel like this was his first big hit. <laughs> Don't you dare look down at Juvenile. <laughs> if he is anything, he's mature. In his rodeo? Tastes. Rodeo? I don't He made a little rodeo. comeback in like 2006. Yeah. Did he? The slow rodeo, slow motion for me. Slow motion, slow motion for me. Slow motion is fucking good. Yeah, yeah, dude. Can I just say this out loud? Wow. I apologize wow. to Juvenile, his entire crew. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't can we, realize. Can we cut it out with the jokes and just play Juvenile the rest of this hour? Yeah, let's just go through all the hits. Woo. We'll just soak. Can we put can we put the clip of the guy knocking the girl out to this? To, in slow motion to this song. Slow mo. <laughs> oh. Dude, that's you find out that's his inspiration. He's watching adults fight children. He goes, Juvenile, what makes you write your song? He goes, Oh yeah, you know, Wodey's getting knocked out. <laughs> he goes, Grown Wodey's knocking out little Wodey's. <laughs> just Wodey fights. <laughs> Pretty much just Wodey fights. Mostly Wodey fights of all types. Adult versus kid, kid on kid. I love how he was like, come on, guys, you shouldn't be fighting on here. Someone pushed him. He was like, wow. He wailed a kid. Dude, that's true zero to 60. Oh, for Guys, sure. guys, break up. Push him. Oh, <laughs> look who wants a piece of the big dog. Oh, uh, someone just tagged me in. <laughs> yeah, are, dude, probably doing Muay Thai. What's, yeah, what's the guy's name? Tim? I mean, dude, he fucking full on shoves her bar shove. Wow. <laughs> Yeesh. That 12-year-old was just banking on the law protecting her there. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, there's no way this guy's going to land this on me. She <laughs> knows she was dealing with an outlaw, dude. Dude, it'd be like watching, it'd be like, it'd be like watching an animal get out at the zoo. Where yeah. you go, oh, this bear's climbing, this bear's getting out. That's like, Pippa, dude. Yeah. She Pippa, Pippa oh, out. Yeah, she got Pippa note. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a good knockout. She goes, oh, this tiger is, oh my God, it's out of the cage. Oh <laughs> my God. He would have been better off kissing her. Yeah. If she came oh, up and he just man, if you would have kissed, if you would have fucking VE date her, what's, her what's fucking in the, you know what I'm talking about. No. You guys get, a, get your history together. Did you say D-Day? V-E. Oh. Victory over Europe. Or was it V-J day? day? You know, when the sailor, you know, when the sailor kissed that nurse <laughs> in Times Square. <laughs> and he would have just fucking. Dude, I like McCusker and I are so dumb. We're like, what? VD day? Fuck that. Venereal disease? What's happening? Shane actually knows history. He's like, no, it's the day we defeated the Nazis. And we go, oh, that when the guy kissed the girl in Times Square. Charlottesville. That picture. That's Charlottesville. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, my God, dude. That lo- yeah. Ooh. How old is he? 51. 51. 51 still throwing a mean He's laugh. Prime, dude, that's dude. Good. What's his name? Out of the orthodox. David? Dude, his wife going, David? David? Oh, God damn it. She pushed him. <laughs> David? No. Da- oh, fuck. They hit him with the left. That's your beaten kid's no prime. Could, 51. Yeah. 51 like, is full. Cool. Oh, I've been saying it. No one could walk through this left hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably predicted it before he left. Like Mr. That's Mac. actually not his wife. What? That's just the lady that was there. So basically, what happened is he Damn, saw he was these lone girls wolfing? yelling at this lady and, and like being mean to this lady. Wow. So he stepped in and he tried to get in the middle. <sighs> Dude, he hung up his phone. He goes, hold on. I think I'm going to be able to fight a black girl. Right <laughs> yeah. Legally, I'm about to beat the shit out of a kid. Hold on. <laughs> hey, 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 Steve. Steve, Steve, Steve. No, no, no. I'll, I'll be over in a little bit. I, I think I'm going to go fight a kid. You're going to catch this on social media in a minute. Yeah. Oh, you, are you on minute. Twitter? <laughs> All right. Well, keep refreshing. Yeah. Tell people about my trend, wife. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Call me the cleanup crew. So this guy was a lone wolf. Just lone showed wolf, up dude. and knocked. Yeah. Dude, or Classic his... white guy, dude. Classic. A lone gunman. <laughs> it's really <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald. Dude. Just showing up and taking care of business. That would have been nice if he did like a Zang Geef, like double fist spin through the crowd. Hump up the rip up. This guy's yelling out Street Fighter shit as he's fucking up kids. How do you get. What's that? That's great. All she did was like, she like pointed at him and he got physical with her. Yeah, well, dude. Well, someone, if you look earlier, someone pushed him from behind. Someone else did, but he, you know. He Wait, didn't so know. you, that article you read stated that was. Not, I came up with that. 
That was oh, your theory. You tried a lot of white you, guy theories on this. I, sub, I defended him as hard as I could. So right just, was that the whole train ride here? Is you dreaming of yeah, a situation like, where it was justified? I would do it. That guy's innocent. You just <laughs> became <laughs> you just defend, you, My cousin Vinny did me. Yeah. For sure. His wife he goes, First off, there was no wife there. <laughs> the suspension is in 1968. That black girl is actually 26. She has a criminal record. She's also a top I straw was, boxer. No. I was pretty much John Adams defending the British in the Boston Massacre on this one. I was like, was the mob yelling at them? Did they incite this? Did he get nervous? Did you call for him to fire? Yeah. And then you see the video. They didn't have video of the Boston Massacre because if they were showing you, they're like, oh, fuck. Oh, oh they did it. Oh, God. They just Hang started em. shooting. Hang them. Hang them all. That guy stay in jail is going to be pleasant. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, when, when, when it spreads, <laughs> no, when it, turns, when it first to... spreads, when some guy's like, yo, man, I heard that guy's in there for fucking knocking out. I don't they know why there's your, a Vato they in sheet. North Carolina. There's they're, a Vato down there. They're like, That's oh, yeah. why we need to build a wall, dude. They're all over dude, North they're gonna, Carolina. No, right, they pull your sheet as soon as you go in to make sure you're not a child molester. So they'll be like, give me your charges. I want to read them. So you don't have like a privacy. You can't be like, oh, I, they're you like, go, can I, can we talk? No. <laughs> no. Pull your charges. He goes, can I talk they to you? They go, let me see what you're in here for. Dude, he's fried. Damn. Yeah, he's he's going like, to have to join the Aryan nation for protection. He's got to go. he's not, you know, yeah. already. Oh, ranked, dude, I think he's going already, in with yeah. some preconceived notions. <laughs> the five-star general, dude. He goes, he, goes, he, goes, he, goes, where, he goes, where are they at? Where are they at? They go, who? Yeah. He goes, uh, my new family. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, here's my resume. It's his charges. <laughs> like, oh, you're in. You're yeah. hired. He goes, uh, the guy has glasses. He goes, how would you like a corner office? Says here you knocked out a 13-year-old black girl. <laughs> Welcome to the area. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to start you off with a signing bonus, extra ramen. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you get two pieces of white bread. <laughs> there you go. There's some smoke. God, Jesus. Damn. Dude, he's going to get fucked up in jail the second he goes out in the yard. Yeah. He was bailed out? He was bailed out already. Yeah, white people. <laughs> who, by who? Do they say by who? Uh, GoFundMe of racists. <laughs> yeah, just, just super racist. <laughs> I mean, dude, he twists his hips. Yeah, wow. dude, that was good footwork. He stepped across. She's out. She's out the second he connects. Oh, for sure. But also, imagine being every abusive boyfriend she dates from here on out. She's like, "You ain't got nothing." Yeah, sure. Yeah. She's like, "I've been kicking the shit out of this girl." Rope a dope somebody. Yeah. Like, that, you got to hit me harder than that. That ain't nothing. <laughs> I'm a bad woman. I'm a bad bad woman. <laughs> she basically fought Tyson. And now she's yeah. like down in the welterweights. Uh, the charges he faces are all misdemeanors. Really? What? Are you guys shocked? Yeah. North Carolina? Yeah. Legal. It was a... I think she was pushed into his fist. The judge. Just some old gullet. He goes, I don't know. They go, sure, sir, would you like to see the video? I do not believe in video evidence in my court. Well, it says here that David is a man of swearing, man. And I heard that this little black girl became quite a critter. Went running. And they go, sir, you can't use that word. He goes, I can in my court if I damn well please. <laughs> Misdemeanor. You gave him a jaywalker ticket. <laughs> well, I saw the video. He crossed without looking. Man was an endanger to him and the society. Dude, fucking misdemeanor. Was it just like, what, what misdemeanor assault? Mr. So, yep. How do you on, just on, get what? Right? How do you? Wait, he's six foot five, two fifty. If you're looking for his uh, measurements, there. he's a big bull. Oh, <laughs> six man. five, two fifty. Big dog, raining. You're a big guy like that, and you're just comfortable throwing a left. But why? It, it also, I, I had a weird thing happen on the street where I was being a little annoying with my cigarette and my umbrella. I was lighting <laughs> a cigarette, and a big guy was walking by me, and he shoved me. Damn. Really? He was standing was it him? Straight up, no, but it was just it a was huge like guy. Sasquatch. He took a New York I, trip. I, I couldn't believe it because he was like a huge guy, and I couldn't believe there was just a guy that would shove a chick on the street. Well, wow. and I went up and I, uh, I asked him. I was like, "Excuse me," I was like, "You're not supposed to shove women on the street." Oh, you came at him with some and hard, he, about to get hit energy. But through. he came he went, back he went, at he went me to pivot. Yeah. He came back at me like a man that would hit me, really? and wow. I kind of backed down because I was like, "Oh, this guy's fucking huge," and there's something like. That little girl, like, I'm so sad that that happened to that little yeah. girl. But, like, I, I wish that she didn't go back in. Like, once he shoved her and she felt that type of power over her, yeah. I w you know, it's kind of hard in the moment when you're scared and you're angry, but to, like, go back to it, like, just to protect herself. Yeah. I mean, do she, I wish I'd been, like, yeah. run away and start screaming because I can't believe she got laid, like, knocked out. Well, I'm also really surprised yeah. there's no aggravated assault because usually if you break a bone or you fucking really fuck someone yeah. up, they're going to be like, oh, we got you on aggravated assault, which is a felony. So the fact that he has no felonies is fucking crazy. A child. Both charges are class A1 misdemeanors. 
Uh, the most serious level for a misdemeanor charge in North Carolina is 150 days per charge. So child I say abuse is $150. I was like, damn, I'm moving to North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, they go, <laughs> you just lay kids out. <laughs> the oh, man. Oh, we wear a, po- a pair of like, bubble gloves and walk around. <laughs> dude, I'll fucking go train, like a whole montage, like Rocky and fuck it, in Siberia. It's like, what's Dan doing? He's like, gave it up, go to North, North Carolina, Carolina, fight kids. I can beat the shit, <laughs> beat the brakes off some of these kids. <laughs> yeah. He's just taking them to, ha- he's just taking them to town. <laughs> Ah, how old are you? Ten? Ah, how old are you? Ooh, Thirteen? Fuck you, mister. Ah, I mean, yeah, this guy needs to go to jail. Uh, and uh, You can't just hit children well, on the street you can't, at the apparently, mall. Apparently you can't in North Carolina. <laughs> they're not saying what it was, but they're saying he uh, had a head injury and he, is suffering from PTSD. Do you think... Do, oh, man, oh, no, he did, he did, he wa- did he Walter from Something About Mary? Did she touch his ear? She definitely did. She goes, they go, They go. David, did you say hi to the black teenagers? About ten times. <laughs> yeah. And then they went, hey, David. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if he was a little... If he was retarded. Dude, that's a it's tough... a good defense. That's he CTE'd out. Yeah, dude. Oh, I mean, wait, so they said PTSD and brain injuries? It's the yes. Benoit defense. Yeah, dude. He's Benoit like, yeah. defense. He goes, I'm Benoit. What? He goes, coming off the top rope, yep. head button you every time. <laughs> he goes, that's what I get for having that as my finishing move. Should have changed that one. Yeah. He goes, did not know it was going to result in Gold that. Goldust had it right. Yeah. Who would have thought? Dude, I would have do a Boston Crab all day. Submission? <laughs> I'd been in the submission game. That saved the CTE. Yeah, well, fuck. So he's... Well, I mean, no. what, do you, what do you do if that's the case? If he's mentally retarded and you come back and you're like... <sighs> like, if you're her parents and you're at the hospital and they're like, we're grafting her jaw back to her head... It might take. And then they're like, and then her lawyer comes, you know, their lawyer comes in and it's like, he is a, he's a special fellow. Yeah. We're not going to be able to prosecute. You got to tell him to think about bunnies and shoot back of the head. Yeah. Sure. That's what you can do with that. Look guy. at the bunnies, yeah. George. Yeah. yeah. Or just uh, tell him that he's going to get unlimited pie if he goes in a room. <laughs> <laughs> and then just fucking sh- just zap him. Just zap him. Zap him. Just sit him yeah, down. Man, put him in the electric chair, dude. Give him a classic <laughs> green mile. Yeah, don't let the spine. Yeah, don't yeah. let the spine. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to be good guys and really we're just going to the thing. We're like, well, they're they're flawed, so they should be terminated. Ooh, you go like, I like where this is headed, dude. <laughs> yeah. White power day. No, not at all. I was talking about mentally Aryan disabled so, Yeah, you're trying eugenics. Me and Matt love that shit. <laughs> he, he definitely hit him, he hit him with the fucking Magic the Gathering retarded card. They're like, we got him. He knocked out your daughter on video. And they're like, shit, he pulled out the retarded card. We're fucked. Draw four? Fuck you, dude. You're the worst to play Uno with. He's like, draw again. Reverse. Magic the Gathering retarded card. I'm just imagining the fucking illustration on the card. Uh, it's got to be very gra- It's, it's going to look like... Like, retarded wizard with like a ball, smiling, a ball. smiling at people on a staff. This is a large pixie stick. Uh, let's take our first break. Oh fuck! Uh, Matt McCos- Matt McCusker, Shane Gillis, hanging out. Big J out for the day. He'll be back tomorrow. Listen to the bonfire. So that's where you can send all your upset emails <laughs> about the last half hour. Jacob doesn't look like he wants to fuck Shane anymore. <laughs> And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Uh-huh. I love it. I'm, I'm Will Smith. It's Will Smith Day on the bonfire. Yeah, it's Will Smith Day all day today on the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. Big J Okerson in D.C. doing our Shafir storytelling show. So if you're in D.C., hurry. Go go get tickets now and go see him. Or if you missed tonight, you can go see him January 24th through the 26th. He's going to be at the D.C. Improv. Then he's going to be at Cap City in Austin, Texas, February 14th through the 16th. Tickets at BigJComedy.com. Joining me, of course, Shane Gillis, Matt McCuss, Oscar from the Matt and Shane Secret Podcast on iTunes. Go rate, review, and then walking in, joining us. We just got a full house today, and I uh, love to have him back on the show. Listen to the podcast, The Sit Down on iTunes, Mike Racine. Hey, Dan. Hi, Mike. What's, what's going on here? How's you are with that microphone? No, but it's not. What? what, what, it, what it, I don't know. I don't know. You just bend it. Jacob's going to come over and it's help you. You got to hit right here. It is. But there's a monitor in front of me, so I'm going to hit the monitor. Or you, put, you can push the monitor down. It is a very Larry, Larry David entrance into. <laughs> The, it feels like this was intentional. Oh, or something. Shane's Shane's he's scratching. Right. You're in my fucking wheelhouse now, oh, Jacob. Oh, <laughs> Jacob's getting he's getting handsy. He feels uh, uh, Mike, for you for the, for you that doesn't know, Jacob and Shane have a uh, palpable sexual energy. Oh, okay, yeah, it's been feel a lot. Like everybody's jealous when me and Jacob yeah. walk in. Everyone knows. Jay gets jealous when he's here. I'm jealous now. McCusker's jealous. Yep. So McCusker's just... rock hard, dude. Me and me, I, I go, I split hose with my dogs, dude. For sure. Me and McCusker will go halvesies on you. 
Jacob, I'm just Jacob <laughs> trying to smile it off. He's like, I'm ah, pretty sure that. Yeah, definitely. Old squad's going to Jacob, get would you, squad Jacob, would in. you feel you're being attacked by toxic masculinity? <laughs> Would you say that that's what Matt and Shane are throwing on you? Do you feel that? Yeah. Well, you know who's you know who's got your back? The who's people that? at Gillette. <laughs> you know, the same people that have a stadium in Boston where a bunch of dudes are getting brain damage. Yeah. <laughs> They're really picking their battles here. Fucking Gillette released a commercial. It's been all over every fucking radio show. Uh, not with us. So why? let's watch this Gillette shaving commercial. Bullying. The Me the Too movement against sexual abuse. Kids suck our dicks. <laughs> Cut your faces. You Don't that? be a fag. Did they just start it's that? It's Gillette. With the coolest shit possible? <laughs> Bullying. Me too. It's like, all right, I'm yeah. in. These Those beautiful. are Shane's mantras. Listen, badass shit the dudes do? Yeah. yeah. All oh, right. oh, make champions. <laughs> Get pussy. <laughs> That's all Shane hears. <laughs> Shane hears it differently. He's like, nerd like, football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ro- Newt Rockney. You just say, Rick Meyer. Hey, Rick Orange. Sh- yeah. Ooh. Ricky Waters. Yeah. Dude, get me going. Damn, I wonder if people are going to start not shaving in support of Me Too. Oh, dude. All the hipsters are going to be like, I have to cut off my mustache now. <laughs> uh, well, let's play the commercial. Bullying. The Me Too movement <laughs> against sexual harassment. Masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? I don't know. You've been tap markers. Right. Is it? What? We can't hide from it. Yeah. Sexual harassment is taking over. Home. It's been going on far too long. <laughs> we can't laugh it off. <laughs> Here we go. What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally. Yeah, they should have beaten up the redheaded kid. Yeah. I don't know. Tell gingers not to be scary. <laughs> it's not my fault that God tagged them because they're animals. Fucking pussy. <laughs> Sorry that God gave us a notifier that redheads are bad. Can we stop and give some credit to the bullies at the beginning of the commercial that chased the kid through his own living room? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's next level shit, dude. I'm not, I was never on that level. Dude, That's you, gotta, you gotta want to eat if yeah. you're chasing a kid all the That's way through. Great. Through his house. He he goes, Mrs. Roberts, yeah. your son's a yeah, dude. She goes, I was cooking him dinner. <laughs> you need permission. A bully's like a vampire. You have to invite them in your house. You can't just bust in. Jason, why are you beating up my son in our living room? Because he's a fag. You're next to the fag mom. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to come and kiss you on your mouth. <laughs> the bully takes over your house. Like, that, that was a Gillette commercial in the 80s. Dude, kid, yeah. I'm going to kiss your mom after I kick your ass. They go, are you, are you shaving at Are you shaving at 12? Use Gillette because you're a goddamn man. <laughs> Did your balls drop before the rest of these bitches? Shave with yeah. Gillette. Let's also, keep, let's Fuck, every single one of these dudes in this commercial needs to be bullied. Nah, man, they're getting money. I don't fault them. Fuck them. them. They're just getting a paycheck. You're in for anybody getting money? Get money. Get money? That's a bonfire. I'm sorry. You guys are over there splitting Jake up like a goddamn sandwich. <laughs> Split you open, dude. Jay, Jay, you know what Jay's out doing? Jay's out securing the bag. True, he Jay's is securing money. the bag. We're securing the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep uh, I, I had to it. back off. Yeah, no, I, I liked it. You should have gone all the way through. It was like a whisper fade away. Yeah. <laughs> Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Once, but she says we don't want to talk about it. Talk about it. it. And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Is this an Old Spice commercial? Come on. To say the right thing. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the guy that just told me to wear Old Spice and go get pussy telling me to be accountable? <laughs> I'm sorry if I can't bounce my pecs you while got, I'm fucking all this pussy. What the fuck guy. are we in here? <laughs> Terry well, Crews got me too. I the know. He got, he got an over-the-pants hand job by a power producer. Eh. I don't know. It's, Maybe you take one for the team in that case, Terry. <laughs> he has been in a lot of stuff. Ja- if, dude, dude, if you want to jam me off over my jeans and let me play the new Green Lantern, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll be like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Hell yeah, dude. I go, keep going. Hell yeah. I'm you can make me like, oh, fucking fuck. Oh, fuck, you're going to make me come? Oh, dude, hey, look. Who are you, oh, mister? God. I don't even know you, man. Oh, fuck. Oh. It's basically an Arthur Morgan voice, You're going to make too. me fucking go. Oh, yeah, buddy. You're about to make me blow in my jeans. I'm going to pop. Don't stop, dude. Don't, don't stop. No, don't stop it. Like, ooh. I'm talking about living in... I'm talking about coming in my jeans. We were doing... We were doing... Bags e- of cum being sent to my house. Ooh. Shane and I, when we were on the road, we were doing E-40. But, so I was on a podcast with Lisa Ann, and she told the story that guys would send her bags of cum. 
like Ziploc <laughs> bags of gum. It was Couldn't on. The, over that. It was on. Uh, it was on the Glory Hole podcast on the Riot Cast Network. And so she was like, "Yeah, guys, sent me bags of gum." So for some reason, oh man, Shane and I just started doing E for the next hour and a half in the car. Yeah, from the drive from ooh. Tucson to Phoenix, we were going like, "Ooh, I got guys sending me bags of gum." <laughs> <laughs> I got men waiting outside my room waiting to give them. Uh, E40 famed. Ziploc bag of cum is fucking sick. Dude. Was it like accumulated or just like a Definitely one shot? Definitely accumulated. It was like weeks. a little nickel bag of cum. <laughs> Here's five. Just sending a team. It's a bundle of cum. I don't know. Could that? you come in weird things? No. You couldn't? No. You'd feel the pressure and be like, I can't fucking do this. Yeah. Wait, Wait coming into a Ziploc bag. I don't think I could do it. I tried to fuck a Ziploc bag one time. How'd it go? <laughs> Put some Vaseline in it and try to like use it as like a Fifi when I was younger. It's, it's kind of rough and jagged. The plastic didn't really feel that good. Did you come? I think I just took it to the shower. I retired my domicile yeah. and jerked off in the shower. I, I remember I brought a plastic bag of Vaseline into the shower and tried to use it as a Fifi. Yeah. And it was just like, the, there was like a rough, I think the zip lock on the top was chafing me. Also, Hell yeah. your, the, your term, your term for jail pussy is just so, how casual you are being like, yeah, he's using a Fifi. You get it. You guys been locked up. You guys fuck bags. I was like, oh, yeah, fuck great workout in my basement. <laughs> fuck that dude. Hey, hey, fuck hey, Fifis, dude. It's time for my commissary. I'm like, Matthew, you were on time out for an hour. You need to watch this commercial, Matt. I should. I'm you sorry. need to watch and learn instead of interrupting, talking about Fucking True. Ziploc I'm bags. Sorry, you're right. Have some fucking respect. I know. Yeah. I know. God. You don't think you could, could you come in a Fifi Racine? What what is like a, a that's a Ziploc bag? Yeah. <laughs> I guess or, now I could. I Fifi is a, a prison kid. prison slang for artificial vagina. She's from whatever materials are available. So if you MacGyver to fake pussy. Yeah. Could you think you could come in it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. You want to find out? Let's do it. <laughs> Jacob <laughs> MacGyver us. Yeah. MacGyver us a pussy. <laughs> Shane and I will start collecting spit, throwing a dip. Oh, <laughs> you want some skull in that? Yeah. Do we want it to burn while you're fucking? Like, How? Dang, How? I think I got some dip spit in my yep. pee hole. Take some of that citrus, baby. Oh, we never finished the commercial. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we got in the way. Toxic masculinity got in the way of toxic masculinity. I was merely calling out the fact that the Old Spice guy is... To act the right way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some ready are. Someone just tried to hit him big. Yo, men, we're small. Say, I'm going to attack a six foot five, two hundred fifty white pound white dude out in front of the mall. I'm the greatest of all time. <laughs> Say, I got a chin. Say, I got a chin. Oh, dude, first off, I love no. where you pause this. Where you pause this is just the ginger kid getting the shit kicked out of him at a barbecue. Dad's about to jump in and start stomping the kid too. <laughs> but look at the kids in the back enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> the gay kid? Is he the gay kid? He goes, Oh, honey, you need to rip that hair out. We need to start fresh. I say pull up the so many split ends and that ginger's hair. <laughs> Come on. God. I guess it's just, you're just burnt by life when your hair is orange. Yeah, dude, yes, queen. <laughs> Fuck his shit up. I fucking hate gay kids, dude. Whoa. Hell yeah. That's Shane Gillis. <laughs> That's Shane M. Gillis <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> that dad's lining up for like a field goal That's kick on his head. Dude. Head, dude. <laughs> dude, he pulled fucking David from North Carolina. <laughs> oh. Can you show Racine the video real quick? If we keep referencing it, do you still have the video from the mall fight? Mm-hmm. This uh, uh, six foot five, 250 pound white dude. Watch him lay out this 12-year-old black girl in front of a mall. And when I say lay out, I mean this is... Oh. If, if you're given a clinic on how to throw a punch, well, this is it. Well, what was she doing? Well, what yeah, was she going to say? That's how I felt. <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my God! Yeah. Hard to, you know. <laughs> Where was that guy when I was in middle school? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, handing out handing out tickets home. <laughs> yeah. <Just> the hall <laughs> monitor. <laughs> the hall monitor. You know why? David, you're effective. Yes. <laughs> you have kept the halls very quiet. No, the halls are too safe, David. <laughs> Do you know why he did that? Why? No, I, don't uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you said oh, it like you had a reason. Oh, okay, you go, so. I don't know. If you stepped in a guy, yeah. Yeah. we're hearing CTE and PTSD possibly, but there's really no legitimate yeah. reason the defense, for it. The defense went, he was retarded. The defense, yeah. Yeah. That was what they tried to put. They should put that clip in this commercial. For toxic yeah, masculinity, toss it in there. Sure. Where they're like, we're standing up for men who don't jack, yeah. <laughs> jack kids in their jaws. I also up. like that. Apparently, there was like a sitcom where like a guy harassed his black maid or something, yeah, and everybody yeah, yeah. was laughing. Everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is your this property. Is <laughs> it's like, dude, you can't yell that out as a crowd member. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> I'm just super into the joke. But uh, did you get a picture of the ginger kid getting tickled? 
Oh, if it's tickling, it's not so bad. <laughs> Think about it like that. He goes over there. He goes, I'm going to tickle you now. <laughs> <laughs> but some is not enough. Is that how we treat each other, okay? Oh. Okay. Cool, your gay uncle's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right, what you're doing down there. Stop it. Stop it. Stop I got you an original program from Miss Saigon. And We're grilling Saigon sandwiches, and this is what you're doing? We have salmon steaks. They're making paninis in the back. <laughs> yeah. I got you a new panini presser. <laughs> this is nice. what you do? Look at this kid needs some bullying. Yeah. Stat. <laughs> China's gonna roll us. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, the best. That's admit. definitely check. Check who owns Gillette, dude. I bet China's got some stocks in there. Yeah, they're just trying to weaken us. Are we China? Gonna, what am weaken I our think, stocks? Oh, like, what is Gillette taking heat for? For making the gayest fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you no, talking about? Dude, How great would it be if Nivea just came back with two <laughs> yeah. dudes' his tongue? In yeah. and, like, oh, oh, and they go, Nivea, your move, bitch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, do, do, can you find old Gillette commercials where they're just basically aggressive about taking pussy? Yeah. Shave your face. Fuck that secretary. Women can't resist your face now. Yeah, because you're Gillette. Why don't you go fucking finger someone? Yeah, you're sexy. Damn, this guy's in like a favela. <laughs> yeah, he's in Brazil. <laughs> it's a Turkish commercial. Oh, man. Well, this is going to... Yeah. yeah. Turkish Gillette. Trying to sell Muslims shaving cream? That's a fucking sale, dude. Yeah. You got to be a good sales <laughs> just, that's, I, that's ice to an Eskimo. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I fucking... <laughs> like, shave off your beard. He goes, it is what commits yeah. me to I will God. behead you now. Yeah. <laughs> you get, oh, sorry about that. Oh, sorry. I want to apologize to the Muslim community. Uh, yeah. Gillette really got a hold of me, dude. Oh, for sure. I'm, I'm done bullying. Who I renounce they? it. I mean, there's people, are there people that are really proud of this commercial? I don't know. They just always use, like, the hottest guys in their commercial. They're statues, and then they have all these, like, nerdy kids on, and they're yeah. going, like, yeah. we need to change now. Sorry. <laughs> Turns out all that pussy we were getting was leaving some kids out in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? You really think a lot when your dick dries off. Gillette. <laughs> we used to be hot. Now we're older. Yeah, I think like, it's just a uh, viral scheme. It's like, if you know people are going to, like, be outrage though yeah it's just a, they really is closer and it is see yeah, oh what that woman's just rubbing girl, that man's baby face. girl applies shaving cream to me every time i shave dude drill yes, my hair. Done. oh my god more comfort that protect your skin and individually spring-mounted twin blades that adjust to your face no razor feels more comfortable during your shave or leaves your face smoother after she's hey, gonna ooh. fuck him because you shaved gillette guys turns out we were wrong now our best gel takes care of your skin to put gillette on and then but take what you want is anyone being influenced by either of those commercials i mean i learned from hulk hogan in my right guard commercial that a true artist doesn't let their inspiration be known, but or their perspiration be mm. known. I forget it. You know? Yeah. Hey. Like, yeah. I you got get it. it. I'm standing by you, dude. Dude, you're real America. <laughs> real I love America. Dude, I love America. Will you shave every day with Gillette? I in order threw to out all the Gillette I had. I had so much. You're going to grow a big old it. beard now? I threw it out. I can't grow a beard. But Guess I'll what? Grow, grow a sick mustache, dude. Yes! I'm going to grow a mustache for the, troops, for the troops and for bullies. For bullies. Standing up for Shout all those out bullies, bullies out there. Dude. I'm going to grow my natural goatee for perverts. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> like, remember? <laughs> where it's like, if you've got facial hair, you've done sex crimes. <laughs> you go, oh, chops. Pretty good. <laughs> Beat off in front of some kids. You just grow a chin strap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Supportive, right? <laughs> the, oh, yeah. I mean, this all the Gillette commercials, they're just really kind of benign. They're just more about their technology. It's more of an engineering thing. Yeah, they're, they were for the nerds. Oh, look at this guy. They're for pedophilia. Whoa. Whoa. He goes, he was yeah. Yeah. She goes, oh. Whoa. Yeah, we'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM, but this guy puts his little girl down a little too gingerly. <laughs> he goes, I'm going to wait till your mom's asleep, then I'm coming back to the thing to look more like a kid. Yeah. I love that this has 11 down votes. <laughs> Someone watched this and was like, nah. Now she's not up to date. They got four blades. Where's shaving blade technology at now? Was like, I think the Quattro is like the pinnacle. Yeah, they're mad. Yeah, I think Gillette. I think I think Gillette got mad because they got left in the dust, and now they're like, "Well, we're woke." True. I, yeah. I think they peaked technology wise. So like, all right, we got to go for the heart now. Yeah, they're going for heartstrings. Yeah, and like stop rape. Buy stop, Gillette. guys. Stop it. Put your penises <laughs> away and shave your faces. Shave your penis. What if they? What if Gillette came out? What if they went super far left and they're like castration? 
castration for fucking sex crimes. <laughs> Chemical castration. Yeah. yeah, you can do that. Gillette, the best a man can get. And if he can't get the best, then we take his take balls. It. Well, it's weird because girls are becoming way more like kick ass and now like they want guys to like tone it down. So it's going to be tight. We meet in the middle and we're all just like lesbians. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I, can't, I, can't I, can't wait. I can't wait to share some WNBA stats with my yeah. lover. None of us are going to have to change wardrobes. I go, yeah. No. <laughs> we're fucking set. Or body types, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. She goes, hey. Frumpy dudes in hoodies. <laughs> Oh we're gonna God. dominate the lesbian softball. <laughs> Brett for fucking Jack I've Central. Had, I'll be back yeah, four, yeah. five, six. Ooh, You're looking I've had at since I was ten, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hey Dan, can I borrow your Ronnie Lott jersey? <laughs> yeah, sure thing, Christy. Thanks. Can we? Can't wait to go to boxing class with you later. <laughs> I'm gonna take you this time. <laughs> we do have a very lesbian lifestyle. What? Just <laughs> hanging out, watching sports together, playing video games together. I'll tell we you basically what. moved in right away, which is a lesbian thing. I don't know yeah. if you guys know that. For sure. They, they date each other for like a week and then move in. So you came to my window. That. I hung out with you once, and I was like, I'll just be here every day. And I went, this is my partner, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. This is Shane. We're into a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've always wondered about those arguments, dude. It's like a like a lesbian relationship, and they get to argue, and the logic mu- it must be like pure Damn, logic. Two lady chaos, logics dude. doing battle. Just two girl brain at going at each it's other. It's like two Rams be. batting heads. Like, <laughs> no one knows who won, but yeah. they're still up there on out and hitting each other. Cynthia thinks they should go out for Indian, but Janice disagrees. Play, play two Rams going. <laughs> they wanted to go see the Sparks play the Liberty, or go see a documentary. <laughs> I, think, I think it's more like. Voldemort, Harry Potter, just like a green light and a red light, and they're just like just oh, never this is a mystical, just... yeah. Do yeah. you think gay guys just get like super passive aggressive and mean? They're just like whatever, mm. bitch, and then you're like, you really hurt my feelings. <laughs> I think these two lesbians fighting in this yeah. field. <laughs> hey, Janice, Janice, I said we're gonna get top. Where the fuck is my pitcher's glove? <laughs> yeah. Where's my catcher's mitt? You what bitch? did you do with it? <laughs> Where's my gel seat for my mountain bike? <laughs> do you got my riding oh. shoes? Uh oh, they're making up. <laughs> I never thought we'd listen to Melissa Etheridge while watching Rams fight. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Damn. All right, I'll see you later. I gotta go to that softball practice. That's all I know about lesbians. That's how fucking they like softball. softball. No, they like uh, easy landscaping up. too. Yeah, like oh, a nice, shit. easy, small mulch project. Oh, they put on the gloves on, put Ed a bandana. DIY on. videos. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking love that, dude. I really, you know, I hope there's like a lesbian camper that's listening right now. She's like, McCluskey nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, God damn, he really stepped in, and he knows my love of small yeah. yard projects. <laughs> Which, by the way, you're not too far off in describing my mom. <laughs> dude, did I tell you that there was a moment? Think your mom's a ram? Dude, my mom, my, mom has, my mom has a neighbor who's a ram, and they were hanging out, and I was worried my mom was going to tell me she was a ram. I was, I was high, and we, my mom and I were talking, and I was like, I fucked myself up. I go, dude, is my mom about to come out to me right now? She's like, I've been hanging out. She's head butted the door open. Yeah. <laughs> and I, was like, I go, Dan, I'm fucking gay. And she goes, Dan, take a run at me. I can't run at you. I'm not a ram. <laughs> exactly. <gasps> Get this support your mom. Oh, mom, you're, I'm like Jay Z. <laughs> is mom gay? Like, yeah, he came out on his last album. So his mom's a lesbian. Mm-hmm. Damn, you know, lesbian mom. I dated a girl with a lesbian mom. Yeah. How'd that Briefly. go? I was just such a pervert about it, dude. I was like, oh, that's so fucking cool. And we stopped talking. <laughs> Never talking to I love that she dumped you when you went that hard. You went, dude, so your mom like eats out her girlfriend. She's like, I, what are we doing? <laughs> Matt, what is this? That was a short-lived attempt at love. She goes, I'm not going to call you back. Headbutting banana. <laughs> head <butting bonanza. laughs> That's a new name of lesbian porn, dude. It's a headbutting bonanza. You got these lesbians fighting. <laughs> I went to the Lilith Fair. They read in the Lilith Fair. That was a real headbutting banana. <laughs> It's better than fucking give head, right? <laughs> Jay was talking about for eating pussy. Oh, dude, I went, yeah, let's just say it was real head butting bonanza. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot to do this, Jacob. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I suck at reads. Damn, look at their nuts when they hit. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Wait, do it again? I want to see their nuts bounce. <laughs> yeah, watch these nuts you think, bounce. You think they just put on strap-ons and run? <laughs> like, <laughs> they go, did your nuts jiggle? <laughs> Two nights <laughs> jousting. <laughs> did your nuts jiggle? Mine sure did. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm really bad at reads, and I can't say the word burglar. <laughs> you just did it. I know, I did it. Nailed it. But I can't do it most of the time when I do these reads, and Jay watches me, and you know when your friend can sense you can't do something, and it makes you not do it? When I was in college, my friend Morgan got in my head, and he's like, you can't walk along this edge of this thing. It was maybe two inches off the ground, 
I was stone sober, and I was like, fuck you, I could do that. But he would be that kid that's like, no, you can't, you have no agility. And I'd be like, fuck, fuck you. And I did it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> just in the middle of it, I was like, oh, oh, oh. and I fell on the ground. And he had that laugh where he's like, oh. like, oh my God, it was one of the most embarrassing. He gileted you, dude. Yeah, For he sure. gileted me. He took away my ability to walk. You needed a khaki dad to come up and be like, stop that, boy. Stop, stop what we do here. Shave. <laughs> Shave your face, or you're a bad man. <laughs> well, guess what? I said burglar. And when do you want to spot that burglar? When he's casing your home? Or after he's in? Ask John. Splint camera alerted of burglars trying to break in while he and his family were home. Burglars got in. And then he doled out some justice. <laughs> but at least he got they footage. They did not yeah. shave. <laughs> By the way, they weren't shaved. And John knew some stuff. So when they got in... He, he got he the said, whole thing on tape. They committed it, some atrocities. So there, trust but he still got the whole It was video. a bloodbath. But Blink Motion activated indoor and outdoor cameras are wire-free. So that's why I went right to his phone. Set up in minutes and run on two AA batteries that last up to two years. If you're traveling, Blink Slide Feed option lets you monitor your home and check in for pets anywhere using the smartphone app. No contracts, no subscriptions. Totally affordable. And Blink works with Alexa. Blink camera systems make great their real way to monitor your package deliveries. So visit BlinkProtect.com slash bonfire. BlinkProtect.com slash bonfire. BlinkProtect.com slash bonfire. Blink is an Amazon company. Now let's get back. How, how come there's no footage of 9-11 on the toxic masculinity video? <laughs> Dude, right? Those guys, those, that's toxic masculinity, and they have beards. They did, they did shave before that. <laughs> did they? Yeah, they With shaved Gillette? and blend in. Dude. Do you they think Gillette? They definitely used Gillette. A lot think... of, didn't they fly out of, like, Boston? Yeah. They had Gillette, dude. Guaranteed. Yeah. Do you, I mean, yeah, nice like going, Gillette. Nice we're going, going, Gillette. Gillette. We're loose-changing Gillette. <laughs> <laughs> they used it to hijack the planes, actually. Yeah. The Get Gillette, down! Get fun. down, or you all have this yeah. minty, fresh feeling yeah. <laughs> after you put a blade to your face. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. What can? When it mixes with Gillette. What does it become? Melting beams. Napalm. You're right. Melter. Dude, you ever shake, up the, you all the way there. shake a shaving <laughs> cream? If you shake a can of shaving cream and stab it, it ex- fucking explodes. I mean, so, I'm just saying. <laughs> how do you get that cockpit door open? Exactly. <laughs> there's there's like a sticky bomb there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> ready. <laughs> he goes, blow open the door. Wow, that was a close shave. <laughs> but having fun. I know we're about to do a change the world, but we're having a real good time doing it. Can you bring up the Loose Change documentary on YouTube to hear the kid's voice where he goes, This is a building. <laughs> a building blows up. Boy, we, I was all in on that Loose Change so video. Oh, I was like 22. Yeah. Yeah, I was Dude, like, wow. Loose Change. Like, yeah. it is a fucking government conspiracy. Yeah. And the kid's VO blows. <laughs> this is what happens. He's like a 22 year old kid, too, right? Yeah. His name's Tyler or something. Dedicated to the lives that we lost on September 11th. No, they're not. Yeah, it was a bunch of Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care about them. Hell yeah, Steve. Just want to make sure everyone knows that one wasn't me. <laughs> that sounded like me. That uh, wasn't uh, me. <laughs> yeah, that is in the style of Shane, but it's played in a Racine... Damn. I think Tower Seven, dude. What do you think about that? that was a Gillette? They, well, so what they said. So one, the, the guy who made Loose Change one was on O and A one time, and yeah, he said, "You just bring it up so we can actually hear his voiceover." Because the trailer, they conveniently cut his voice out. Smart. I thought the soundtrack yeah. was. Well, you say boom. Well, some some <laughs> cop called in and he was like, "You know why Building Seven fell? Because the other the debris fell into it. Stupid. That's so, so great. Like, yeah, yeah." And yeah. he goes, he like, "Well, maybe debris was dispatched by Gillette." <laughs> Find out if Gillette's headquarters was in Tower Seven. I feel like I, bet I they can. Had some offices. I can argue oh. both uh, scenarios you think they equally vacated? as passionately. What that Gillette was involved with nine eleven? Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. that's what this commercial is leading us to believe that they are going to completely ignore the most masculine, the most toxic masculine sure. moment right. of easily the past two hundred years. True. <laughs> I'm just I, just to, I thought of a couple of atrocities. Yeah, I, just look, I just want to look at Shane as his history major. He just threw out years. He goes, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> I said that. He goes, what? 200 years? What are you talking about? He's two ten years, dude. 20. I'm listening to Dan Carlin's hardcore history right now about the uh, Japanese. <laughs> what was that? That's, I'm just being cultural. It's right. so funny that he puts out. He puts being, out it's, like, yeah, nice. it's like saying like taco. Yeah. I'd like some tacos. Or some mozzarella, dude. I'd like some mozzarella. Japanese. <laughs> hey, the I don't roll the tea. Yeah, the Japanese are going, I, that's not a very decent space for it. Yeah, you got a lot of people just went, what? Yeah, a bunch of <laughs> Japanese <laughs> listeners just went, <laughs> what? 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 All you hear across the country is, shink. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, not yet. <laughs> you wait for Shane to get bigger, and then we chop him down. You wait till tree grow, then more bark, more bark, 
You cut down trees. Yeah, dude, if I had Japanese enemies. Dude, that'd be great. If you had a whole fucking ninja <laughs> clan. Norris video, just me house and ninjas, dude. You're just going up on stage, and you're like, hell yeah. <laughs> One behind you. I'd fucking <laughs> catch a ninja star, dude. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. During your set. <laughs> dude, dude, Shane fucking mid-joke reaches out and out of nowhere, pulls a fucking goddamn throwing star. <laughs> From behind, did you find Loose Change, the documentary? I believe this is it. It'd <laughs> be awesome to well, have like the last samurai, but you don't learn any of the techniques. You're just throwing haymakers. Yeah. And just, short Chinese. Out, just sideways punches. <laughs> last samurai is just a jacked dude. <laughs> Fucks up Asians. Hell yeah. 9-11 truth movement is something to be applauded. Jacob, the reason Jacob, did that, you do Loose uh, Change? <laughs> what, what is Loose Change? I don't know. Loose Change is Yeah, yeah sure, you sure don't know. I don't know what any of this is. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so Racine, you're confident you could argue for loose changes theories? Uh, yeah. You and I could, could argue that it wasn't an inside job. But you could well. argue it is an inside job. You're a provocateur. I think so. Yeah. What what facts do you got? Um, We're going to get real guess, conspiracy theory on the bonfire. Let's see. I guess the uh, the molten steel is big. Mm -hmm. And then Building 7 is big. And then um, you know a couple people getting killed, like um, this ma guy who was a maintenance worker yeah. in, uh, I think, the South Tower. He said that he pulled a guy out of the building and the guy's skin was on fire. And then allegedly he like shot himself a few. Well, what's funny is, so the conspiracy people are like... this. So, so he they showed his suicide note and it looked like it was written by a seven-year-old. Yeah. But it's like he was a maintenance worker in New York, so maybe it was really his suicide note. This life sucks. Goodbye. Yeah, right. How do you spell goodbye? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I clean up shit. I love having yeah. this conversation in a skyscraper in New York right now. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. True. Really take it there, huh? It's fun to be here. Yeah. Wood. You ever yeah. talk about dreams are falling down on the top of the building? <laughs> yeah. But his name was uh, Kenny Johanneman or something. And then there was another guy like Barry Jennings who was like the emergency manager of Building 7 who who also like had a heart attack. So that's like But he weird. had a heart attack. That's not crazy. Like if you're having a heart attack during 9/11. You can give anybody a heart attack. Yeah, you're getting attacked. Like the fucking buildings are collapsing and you're not No, like... he, he had a heart attack like years later and he was like speaking out about the building or something. Oh, so they zapped him. Yeah. That's a government death where they make it look like a heart attack. You guys got... This is good. McCusker's all in on this shit, too, by the way. Yeah. Well, I, I just don't unite. turn it down. I'm the same way. I listen to it. And it's like, I don't I don't know. It could happen. Apparently, there's all those insurance policies that were taken out on it. And, and also, like, it got like, vacated and all the different... Uh, and then Larry Silverstein, like, went to the dermatologist that day. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Well, that's code. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, McCusker's looking, McCusker's looking at Racine right now like, yeah, yeah everything you're saying. uniting on this. Yeah, I'm watching yeah. two minds mend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching McCusker and Racine come together, and they're like, they're going to see Chuck's like, I'm, I'm Yeah. yeah. He goes, Silverstein went to the dermatologist. Yeah. <laughs> but it couldn't <laughs> melt the steel. They've also we, get, we get married just so we can like yeah. <laughs> investigate it together. They go, are they progressive? You go, no, no, they're fucked. They're yeah. fucked in the head. Yeah, it's a weird marriage. It's, a weird, <laughs> it's not healthy. Neither one of them is going to do well being in this thing. Yeah, this uh, it's so funny, man, because being in college when 9-11 happened, it was like just being a stoner and someone being like, you know, there was a video online that was an inside job. And you're like, oh, I could see that. That's when the internet was more fun. Fun too. Yeah, the internet yeah. was all that. Me and Matt yeah. happened to be talking about 9-11 on the way up here, and it was just like, I had a great 9-11. <laughs> my 9-11 was recess all day, and yeah, then I go went home. home early. Yeah, yeah it was the I got shit. a second period, yeah. high-fived my cousin, and was like, fuck yeah, what happened? He's like, oh no, dude, we're going home. I was like, yeah. yeah. yeah I was in high school. Was, yeah, I do it. remember thinking like, oh, this is cool. This is like history. Oh, like, I woke up, and oh, the I, Twin I Towers thought, are gone. I thought my <laughs> alcoholic mom was just being dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I woke up and read an email, and it was like... What happened? Will not be forgotten in history. And I'm like, all right, Trish, you're doing some morning drinking, huh? What's going on? She's like, we will go to war for this. I'm like, all right, you want to fucking argue? What's up? And I turned on CNN, and I was like, oh, my God. That was eighth grade for me. I got head that year. You got head in eighth grade? Fuck yeah, dude. Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at right now? And then I was like, oh, my God. That was eighth grade for me. I got head that year. You got head in eighth grade? Fuck yeah, dude. Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at right now, dude? You? Looking at the dog, dude. You don't think I was fingering in sixth? Man. Sixth grade? Ooh, that's 11. Ooh. Let's you get it fucking started, yes. dude. Really? Dude, Come I didn't on, know dog. you were finger popping in sixth grade. You think I just uh, fuck around up here? <laughs> no, it was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of our teachers. Like, yes, Shane, dude, you I did finger that. a teacher. Shout out that. Um, <laughs> no, you, you did. Yeah, yeah, let's not get into it. All right. Wait. Yeah, you collab. fingered a former teacher. I fingered it. Yes. Not, while you were a teacher. Student? Teacher. Dude, while no, you were a active teacher. While I was in high school. Yeah. While you were in high school, you fingered a teacher. One in the she worked at your school? high school? 
Oh shit! I should not be doing that. Yeah, no, you're out. <laughs> it's out. Name it's name out. Name. There's no legal. You name anything. Let's well, just leave it. You didn't name. No, you didn't. Name. We'll stay completely <laughs> off names. But you think we're dropping this? The fact that you shouldn't have said this. My bad, dude. You're popping yeah. fucking teachers in high school. You're a rat, dude. I dreamed. I fucked up. It, you, you, you gave up too much on the stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. really fucked. I, as soon as I was saying, it, I was like, dude, oh, I, there's Twitter. Out. You had three times where I went, you fingered a teacher, and you're like, yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. No, I was just joking because my I ex believe was you're a teacher. I believe not. Yeah, no. Yeah, come on. What are we talking? about yeah. 9-11? No. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, now, now I got a conspiracy teaching, theory. It's like not the same. You, do, you won't get anyone in trouble. No, you're not going to sure. get anybody in trouble. You're not a fucking snitch like these other d- dorks that tell on their teachers that they fuck. Are you good copping yeah. me right now? Because <laughs> you're trying to get me to snitch right I go, now. I go, we got him? Are you running the tracer? <laughs> <laughs> you're good copping me. Uh, I go, hey, buddy, you like Dr. Pepper? I got you Dr. Pepper. Why don't we go out and I get do you love a burger? Dr. Pepper. When you fingered, did you like actually play with the clit or were you just like straight? I was I was a young bull. You were how old were my finger techniques? 16? Straight from porn. I was just fucking coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17 years old? Yeah. On site or Maybe 18. Eight, 17, 18, were you at a hotel? I don't want to get into that. Well, why not? If it, is it a release? <laughs> is it too much info? I think it's fucked up. Huh? Why is it fucked up? Because. Are you a victim of sexual assault? I was sexually assaulted. I mean, there you go. That's but I'm play. too, I'm too the, fucking jacked to did, get assaulted. Dude, what, what, was, what was like the general consensus of your finger and technique? Was it like nice or was it yeah, like. Yeah, was, was she encouraging? Was she teacher like? <laughs> yeah. Jacob rubbing his beard, and just going. <laughs> yeah. If you're in high school, I mean, who wasn't thinking that? Like, what, 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 how'd she rate your technique? Dude, Jacob told a story about him coming in his pants. So if you don't give him this, there's no True. justice yeah. in the world. I don't remember. Yeah. Truth, you know, truthfully. Well, no, truth I, I, I will say that if you're if you're in high school and you finger like a thirty to forty year old, that's like plugging into the matrix. You downloaded all the technology. I know kung fu. Oh. Yeah, I woke yeah up. when you woke yeah. up, he goes, like, "I know how to finger so goes, good now." I know tantric sex. Did, did she do anything to you? Look, Jacob. I told you guys I don't want to talk she, about it. She, she like, gave him a Snickers, dude. <laughs> she went like this. In with some she went like this. She goes, oh, God, I thought you had some fat fingers. I mean, it's awesome. That was incredible. But it's it was long enough ago that no one could be incriminated by no, this stuff, I right? Mean, Shane I downloaded would be... child pornography by accident when I was a kid. No, I mean, I wouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> yeah. how, well, how old well, were you? I was like 13. And, oh. and, and, yeah. yeah how, how young were the It's a 13-year-old. 13-year-olds. Dude, that's My little brother did that. I was like, oh, my God, it's child pornography. <laughs> My little brother could go like 12 years old. You never, exactly. you never think about that. Wanna, you, because you want to just watch girls your age. Dude, that's so funny to be a 13 year old. You're like, try to get some 13 year old porn. And some guy in the FBI is like, we got a real sick fuck here. With some pings out of New Jersey. This guy's a real monster. And it's just you and you go, hey, it look like a girl I go to school my, with. They just arrest my dad. Yeah. <laughs> he's on the, he's it's do an untapped market for yeah. sure. Dude, that's fucking crazy. And also, the first time I fingered a girl was at my grandmother's house under her bust of the Virgin Mary. Oh, yeah. man. Man. Did you hear like? Awesome. Oh, hey, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. did, did, was there blood running down her face <laughs> yeah, yeah, as yeah, you're doing it? Cried. You're like, huh? I mean, dude, I remember uh, fucking sexually mature Shane Gillis over here at sixth grade, <laughs> finger popping. That's great. When I was That's in awesome. eighth grade, I had a girlfriend and I touched her pubic hair and was like, whoa, mm. yeah, almost yeah. fucking jizzed in my pants. Me and me and my squad went. All together, every time. First finger. But you're like there was like trash. three of us, like, and we went for it at the same time. Oh, with all with three girls or one girl? Park. No, one girl was just like, you guys can all touch my pussy here. Oh, it was, like, it was like Gullo. Oh, Dude, that Gullo? should be in the Gillette <laughs> commercial. She's a great lady. <laughs> Where it's like, if you're at a park with <laughs> <where it's laughs> <where it's laughs> you guys. You ever see Gummo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah that's like some Gummo <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dude, there's a girl. Dude, I was, no, I know. Yeah. Dude, I, uh, there was a girl. Hand jobs, all shared. One girl, skiss, me and like eight of my boys in the back of a, in our Fort. Here, wait, dude, that's hilarious. She jerked let off us, in a fort. She would go two times and let it's us Black go. Diamond, we used dude. to call it the swamp. <laughs> that was the name of the fort. We all got hand jobs in the swamp. Wait, where Damn. was where was the fort? In a house? In the back of my... In the, we built it off of my friend's shed in his backyard. <laughs> it was like, like, it was like a bunch of 14-year-old kids yeah. coercing was, another a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, don't make it that bad. She was an eighth grader. Oh, okay. She was older, so you can't trick her. And you, uh, were, you were in sixth grade? We were young boys. You were in sixth grade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were young cool. men. She was sixth grade, dude. That poor girl's home life was a wreck. Yeah, it was. She's in eighth grade. She's in eighth grade? Yeah, but she's in eighth grade. She's like, let me go beat off some 11-year-olds. That's pretty sick. That's her. What's that? Somebody must have been fucking her. 
Yeah. She was out getting XP points, dude. Yeah. yeah. XP points. <laughs> <laughs> she was out there fucking racking them up. Yeah, she was leveling up. She goes, I don't know. By the time I get to high school, I'll be able to toss off a guy in fucking three seconds. They're going to call me fucking... I'm a, show me Luke Perry. I'll buck him in eight seconds. Dude, second half of this episode really turned on me. Yeah, really. Uh, yeah. I, things got out of hand. Well, quick, dude, I don't know. You're out here bragging well, I mean, about I fucking I shouldn't have finger, done that one. I'm having fucking finger popping. It. It's, it's going to give me so much anxiety. I mean, Jake well, wants to know. Jacob, Jacob, there's so many questions oh. you have. Yeah. Fire them off, dude. Stop asking questions, dude. Or no. I'll never fuck you. Were no. you in love? No. <laughs> no. It was bad. The teacher? That's it. Yeah. Was it a dude? Was it a what? guy? It was, it was, it was like everyone was drunk. It's uh-huh. kind of weird. Whoa. It was a Wait, weird you thing. You were in high school? Yes. You yeah. were still in high school. There were other people in the room? No. Was it was she? You and her. It's like a Stop. testimony. Yes. Stop. Was yeah. she, dude, what is going on here? I have a doll. Yeah, yes, Congressman. Can you show yeah. me where on the doll the teacher touched you? Was she a teacher at the school? <laughs> I can't answer this. Yeah, she, she was a teacher at a different school. Did okay. you watch Dawson's oh, Creek? School. It was a different school. I did not watch Dawson's Creek. Is this a plot line for there Dawson's Creek? There was a storyline in Dawson's Creek where like you the, the 15-year-old Pacey like, falls for his teacher, and it's like a romantic relationship they share. Like They would never do that nowadays. <laughs> no. days, and I wonder how many people from like the Dawson's Creek generation, <laughs> like how many guys were like, that oh, I want to fuck my teacher. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, though. That does make sense because a lot of the girls that watch Dawson's Creek were be old enough to have been all this like sure. wave of fucking their students. Uh, yeah. Do, do yeah. this music kicks on and she goes, "Hey, Miguel, <laughs> I noticed you're late to trade school." I was just wondering like a, if you want to fuck on my desk. Did you get your pants off? She was for sure Shut like a lady, off. too. Shut up. <laughs> I do deserve this. Dude, Jacob has so many questions. Off. I do deserve this. You did that was the teacher? I was all that's how young he was. She was molesting him. Damn, dude. <laughs> uh, Shane, this is, tweet this out if you guys want to see the Shane Don't Gillis story. Don't fucking tweet this out, dude. The bomb Actually, fire, there was an episode of Step by Step, too, when like, the teacher hit on uh, that guy, that kid JT. Or oh, yeah, yeah, JT. And uh, I don't think I've ever been more hard in my life watching that episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like seven. Tweet this out. This is uh, the TV version Stop. of the Shane Gillis <laughs> story. Ah, that's awesome. Yo, look at that. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is erotic. Oh, my God. <laughs> If you think Jacob's not going to be swimming in a pool of cum later, <laughs> to the thought of all this, <laughs> like oh she, did she kiss you on the forehead when you were done? <laughs> <laughs> a field of tall wheat. <laughs> tall, yeah, wheat. tall wheat near a body of water. Damn. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Shane, you were a fucking... You look at you, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had that old baby sweater. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know you could get so much teacher plus in Old Navy. I was shooting my gun in the wrong direction. Damn, like, look at that polo. Yeah, there was like a 26-year-old teacher at my high school that was fucking a 14-year-old. That's mm. a lot. And he would just like, yeah, he was yeah. a young teacher. He would just have all the kids over to like party and drink oh, at his house guy? by the beach. See, yeah. that's where that's it gets wrong. That's, that's like that South Park. I don't like that. That's yeah. that South Park <laughs> episode where he goes, show me that son of a bitch. And he goes, it's the t- kindergarten teacher. He goes, nice. <laughs> a teacher in my high school was a guy who went to, to jail for banging a 15-year-old student. And he went down swinging because he said, we're in love. Oh, wow. You yeah. take that to the... That's fucking holding on to the catch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the chick that went to jail <laughs> yeah. for banging her student, <laughs> like, married ground. him when she got out of jail. <laughs> Mary Kay Turner. Oh, man. We got so much teacher fucking to talk about. We got to take another break. Mike Racine, <laughs> Shane Gillis, Matt McCusker from Matt and Shane Shugo Podcast, Mike Racine's podcast, The Sit Down. You can get those podcasts on iTunes. These guys are fucking hilarious. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Avengers! We kiss a bunch of the Jews, yeah. Well, yeah, we're on the air, dude. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the Bonfire, Comedy Central God. Radio, <laughs> Sirius XM 95. I'm Not Dan Soder. <laughs> Big Joker's in out. He's at Ari Shafir's storytelling show in D.C., so go see him if you're down there. Or go see him January 24th through the 26th if you're in D.C. He's going to be at the D.C. Improv. After that, Big J's going to be in Cap City in Austin, Texas, February 14th through the 16th, BigJComedy.com. Go stream his special on Netflix episode of The Degenerate. Atlanta. I'm coming down January 24th through the 26th. I go to Atlanta all the time. Uh, and remember, guys, I've been working here uh, for 10 years. So, uh, I've been all the time. 
time. Can I get the other one? Uh, I've been working that. here, guys, remember, for 10 years. Uh, go get tickets. Go get tickets at DanSoder.com. What? Yuck. Yeah. That's Shane Gillis. Uh, he's joining us, co-hosting with Matt McCusker from Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast, which you can go uh, subscribe and download at on iTunes. And while you're there, also download the sit-down with our other guest, Mike Racine, fucking hilarious comic, old friend. Thanks. Old compatriot. Um... Shane's, uh, you know, swinging and missing sometimes today with the mics We're on and fun, off. Dude. We're, We're having have, fun. We're taking shots. Full go. Dude, let's give away We're some tickets. Shots downfield. You know, Lou has another family. What? Yeah. Lou has another family. Sebastian Maniscalco and uh, Pete Corielli. I don't even know who they are. Well. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not you. Because you're not Italian, I, dog. Yeah, you're not Italian. I introduced myself to Sebastian twice yeah. like a real fucking idiot <laughs> after he was on our show. Introduced myself to him and was stoned and leaving. And it was like, oh, hey, man, nice to meet you. Fuck. And then Lou told me on Monday, and it was like that thing where you don't realize you did something wrong, and then someone tells you, and you're like, for four days? I was just walking around like nothing was wrong? <laughs> I offended one of the top-selling comedians of all time yeah. by just being an idiot? Well, guess what? The hilarious Sebastian Maniscalco going to be at Madison Square Garden. This Sunday, Sunday, January 20th, we got two tickets to give away. Transportation not included. But if you're over 18, call 1 888 Comedy 9. What's our number? 844 Comedy 9? Is that it? It's 844 uh, four, Comedy 9. 266 yeah. 3399. There it is. If you wrote it down, 844 Comedy 9. We'll give away tickets to caller number 92. Actually, let's give away tickets to caller number. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Call. You get free tickets. We're doing a giveaway today and a giveaway tomorrow. Sebastian Mascalco at the Garden. And you know how fucking crazy it is to be a comedian and sell the Garden? And we got two of those tickets. So call right now. And be Italian. And be Italian. It's going to be a lot of fucking fuggoots. It's going to be a lot of cheese smelling. Thank you. Get it, Mike Racine. You're an Italian. It's one of my favorite things my grandma ever said just in the middle of dinner. She goes, Dan is seeing an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, hey, Nana. Uh, you're... That's how Matt says it. Matt says Italian. Italian? Yeah, yeah that's what she real says that's, Italian. Dude, my grandma, for real, goes, oh, yeah, Dan's seeing an Italian. And you're like, are you trying to... Say Italian water ice. Italian water ice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Italian water ice. <laughs> yeah, that's all over the map. Italian, <laughs> Italian water ice. It's like up and then down. Uh, we've been talking about toxic, toxic masculinity. We've been talking about teachers and students. Oh, we were talking about the Gillette commercial about how uh, they're selling everyone. I think, you know, the two movement or the woke movement. There's people, just, companies are just trying to make money off of now. But the one that I remembered was Kendall Jenner's Pepsi commercial because it was, mm. they thought, Pepsi thought they nailed it. Yeah. They're like, we got it. We got it. And 100%. Then it, we got this perfect. Play it because it's just so fucking. Get out here and protest with us. Come on. She's like, I'm hot. I'm hot. And I'm done being hot. I'm done getting... I'm going to get real. At the Bonfire SXM, they're protesting for peace. It's all people of walks and shapes and sizes and colors. Kendall Jenner gets by an Asian guy. Fist pumps a black dude. This is so bad. And then she walks up. What does she do? Arab woman photographer. Yeah. Spy. Middle Eastern woman that's <laughs> spy. Iranian spy. <laughs> Dude, what if you just laid her down? Just put three in her chest? <laughs> she a bitch. Everyone's dancing with their happy because yeah. the guy drank a Pepsi? They topple fascism, dude. Yeah, they just stopped the fascist police. Dude, this is really the commercial? This is the music that goes everybody. with it? No. no. Oh. The, commercial, the music's even worse. It's worse, yeah. It's, uh, Dude, uh, that is Liv Boulder? Dude, that, that is so funny. How tone deaf you have to be. This guy's named Charles Blow. <laughs> Charles Blow? <laughs> Come on, guys. That's funny. Yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> Come on, that's a funny name. Just to think that you're being... This is a comedy <laughs> radio show. Yeah, I don't know. I thought we would find Blow. funny things and laugh at them. Oh, we will. And the guy's name is Charles I Blow. See it. I couldn't see All it. All I see is the giant lip bowl. You're snapping. I'm God, Charles. you really isn't are that, isn't that Kohler? Isn't that Kohler's slogan, Live what? Boulder? <laughs> is it? The toilet. I think the toilet company, Kohler's Boulder. Matt mm. comes in the toilet and calls it feeding the controller. <laughs> at nighttime. Uh, you yeah. can come in a toilet? Yeah, hey, yeah squat that's, a, that's where he comes. Fucking, do you have to squat and come? Yeah, you have to squat and come. And I'm mocked for standing while I jerk off. I admit, well, that's, this guy's that is squatting? Weird. That is standing weird. What's weird? Control. What's weird about standing? Standing when you jerk off is weird, because then it's funny just thinking of standing in the room like a Blair Witch victim. <laughs> 
<laughs> just in the corner. I'm like, man, I can't turn around until I'm done. Matt, Matt also lays down like a shirt or something on the side of his bed, rolls on his side, and shoots ropes onto it while he's laying on his bed. Do you toss onto a shirt? All about yeah, barrel, barrel roll, yeah. You yeah. barrel roll? Yeah. Do you fucking... Happy the Frog comes on <laughs> from Star Fox. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> barrel, barrel roll. Get up. Do you paper mache and roll around in it and see if the shirt stick to you? Yeah. Do you ever like, do you ever like come on your belly and you like forget it's there and it starts dripping down onto your mm. couch? Yeah. I mean, Black Lou with the nod. You don't want to move afterwards. Black Lou with a heavy nod. You don't want to move afterwards. He's like, oh, yeah, I've spilled some, I've spilled some gravy. You don't want to get up from, you know. I'm always, I always, yeah. I always yeah. catch it. I'm like a wide receiver. I'm always I fucking. the same thing. I yeah, got tissues. Nah. Catch it. Catch it. Oh, you go full hands. You go straight. No, no. You go raw? No, what I do is do a little like a, like, yeah, like a tissue condom. Yeah, and I'll just wrap it up. That's where we, nah. re- that's where we're together. Nah, Matt I believes, fire, Matt believes his health. He's like an old Asian. Yep. Very, I gotta like, see, I gotta take stock and see how far it goes. Dude, that's so funny that you do, that's how you monitor your health. Yeah, you're gonna, you gotta, today, uh, good today. I come very far. <laughs> There's a very big old road. Yeah. Big road. In China, when a man come very far, I mean, he is very vital. He has vitality. Like, I'm telling you, it comes from, I got, I got a hand job one time from, an elder Asian lady, and she, uh, she like shot. I mean, I'm not bragging. It shot super far, and she was like, "A very healthy boy." And I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" dude sounds like, sounds like nice. you paid for this, dude. Yeah. Uh, there was financial, <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. No, they had a connection. Like, they met at. Uh, I took yeah, down well, not I a lot of old Asian ladies on Tinder. I think you found this lady. I took down the mama's son outside his house. Yeah, <laughs> and, this is pre Tinder when it's Craigslist, and you had to bring like 120 bucks. That's so funny. You had to put a down payment on a hand job. Yeah, here you go. I'm gonna give you a 20. I'm gonna 60. We're agreeing on that. I'm walking. Walking out of here with sixty, no matter what goes down in the massage room. Oh, so dude. she she jerked you off, and then was and like I shot like I fucking. I mean, I was I was like nineteen. I shot a fucking. Daddy? Girl. It's so funny that there's old Chinese women who are basically like hand job sex slaves, and then women in America are like people talked over me in a meeting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was I was asked for my I opinion see. after yeah, I already gave I, it. This yeah. woman has to make businessmen come in fifteen minutes, so she doesn't get a tip. <laughs> yeah, they get tricked over here. I didn't I didn't know that at the time, but they get like. They're just like starving or poor, and someone's like, "I got a job for you in America. You make like a thousand bucks a week, and like nice." And they get here, and they're like, "Oh, you're not cleaning buildings. You're just it's a sex jobs. slave." And then they're like, "I want to leave," and they're like, "Yeah, we burn your passport." And they're like, "Fuck, really?" But at least you know, I'd like to think that in my interactions with them, I was always pleasant. We should do an episode of, of my show for that. <laughs> really? That. Yeah, Chinese sex slaves. Hell all yeah. of that Chinese sex. Let's do it. Sit down on iTunes. You go into all the mafia shit. We did the Denver mafia. Yeah. When we did an episode of yours. Ooh. Damn. Pretty pretty light. <laughs> it's never mind. Yeah, it's much, pretty yeah, light. Yeah. Mostly cowboys. <laughs> we did a lot of the work ourselves. Really? Clearing the earth. <laughs> yeah, some, wop, some wop cowboys out there? Yeah, they're like, hey, bro, listen, this fucking horse <laughs> yeah. moves. I got a bunch of fucking Navajo busting my balls about my fucking linguini. Uh, yeah, the sit down. So you should do a chi- You should do a Just crossover a episode. Sex episode, yeah. You should oh, do a sure. crossover episode of Matt and Shane's Secret Ooh. Podcast with the sit down. Talk mm. sex slaves? Sure. On Chinese sex slaves. You should get one on the show, too. What? Call up your girl. For uh, 40 bucks. She's dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that lady is she definitely was... dead. Or stronger no, than ever. They can they graduate. They can graduate and, like, work in a strip club. Really? Yeah, they they are, like, they're like indentured servants. They, when they get called up to a strip club. They age out. They don't, like, get let go. They age out. And then, so like, they don't, there's not, like, a strip club that's, like, bringing a righty. And they're, like, <laughs> hailing from Green Valley Massage, starting <laughs> for your hand job team, Lou Kim. She's, like, you're very, very healthy, boy. I get up, uh, I'm making you come very fast. Get it down on table. <laughs> Come up, come up, come up, come up, big table, up, up, big table. Big boy, big boy, want to squat? Big boy, want to squat for me? It's crazy. How now fast you come. Get the sound effects in there. Now you come, dude. Lou Witzke is the spine of this show. Yeah. Without Lou Witzke, this is just a mediocre podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I just like Asian music. Yeah. Lou, 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 Lou trains by himself with a lip sync. Search for it on on the. No, I have like a thousand buttons. Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. Lou's just by himself in his apartment with a burning cigarette shirtless, <laughs> just with Asian music in the back doing air punches. Yeah. He just hits He's, a wishy washy one. He's like, Oosh. Yeah. <laughs> wishy washy one. Dude, they, Philly, that was, that's a, I don't think that's a very common thing. When I moved to Philly, everybody's getting hand jobs and shit from sex workers. It's right, it's it's right, right a passage. passage. It's very big in New York, rub and tugs. I bet. Yeah. And they call them the wishy washy. They call in them wishy washy. They wash you. They wash you all. They, they really? Bath. You How do you not laugh when you're getting bathed? They throw water all over you. 
water. Hey, they throw water all over you. Hey, man, come you on, you, and then fucking wash it off. <laughs> wash, <laughs> wash my dirty body. I'm gonna go down and wish you all. Should get one of them Chinamen to give me a hand job again. <laughs> you lay on a fuck it, You lay on like a, a like an ironing board, and they they just dump a warm bucket of water on you, and some lady just scrubs you with a loofah. And they're like, okay, you come down. <laughs> how? Uh, Wait, I, in so Red I, Dead, did you did you do the bath level in Red yeah, Dead? Yeah, 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 I yeah. yeah like, that's where I learned about it from. I was trying Red to. Get I was trying so hard to fuck, and I, like yeah. my girlfriend's like horny in the other room. Like I'm like, yeah. hold on a second, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, fuck I'm working over. I'm working over this fucking fake bath lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can't that's the them. most. That's the most you do in the game is a, a lady gives you a bath. And she, 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 she'll, she'll, wash, she'll wash your legs and arms if you yeah. play it right. Yeah, it was you really like moralistic. That guy, I know you should be able to. Fuck. He should have been like, hey, if I will give you an extra dollar, you suck my poke. <laughs> hey, what are you doing to me? What? He goes, hey, oh, all right, lady, get in the pots. Oh, you're good. You're real hand piranha. Fill this tub up, lady. Oh, you want me to go? Suck my dick, Lenny. Yeah. Suck my dick, What's Lenny. A bubble, <laughs> bubble massage, dude. She's moving in a bubble massage. You get some bubble That's massage? a whole other porn category, bubble Remember massage. Remember that time you hooked up with a... Oh, man, my new reel going wrong. You, you gotta tell them the new real quick. What's new? Hey, great remember new that real. time you, know you hooked up with? Shut the fuck up, <laughs> We're seeing you're bringing up shit. Fuck up. <laughs> Don't you have a whole podcast about snitches? What yeah, happens to it? You promised me you wouldn't <laughs> snitch, dude. Do you know what a new room massage is? No. It's like. Uh, You've seen it. On well, so it's Pornhub. They slide all over you? Yeah. On an air mattress? Well, yes. on an air mattress, so and good. Slide. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. again, you know, I'm a youngster, I'm on Craigslist. I see N U R U, and I'm like, damn, I didn't know they do this in real life. So I instantly signed up. Negotiated and What's, went, how long was the negotiation process? Part of the deal, dude. It was like two, it was Trump like daddy yeah. style on these hookers. He goes, no, it was I like, will come on you, and you're gonna like we're gonna it. have chicken fingers afterwards. Yeah, uh, was, yes. It was, it was like okay, yeah. So I went and did it, and uh, but when I it was like you go to like a one of those like side of the road motel type deals. Mm -hmm. I pulled up and I was instantly like fuck, dude. Like I was like sting. Oh, this is a sting. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like ass. this. This is so good, dude. Don't get me started on new new porn. I fucking this is my wheelhouse. <laughs> I've never seen this, dude. I've You've never, never seen this? No. Woo. Get ready, dude. No, dude. She's just fucking dumping oil all over it. So, it, and so this, Matt is, got, this, this is, is what, what Matt I thought, thought, I <laughs> thought I was getting. This is what I thought I was getting. I mean, this looks awesome. Yes, I know. I would be giggling so much when she rubbed my butt oil oh over my, my God, butt. Dude. I know I'm gonna kind of die, but. <laughs> yeah, dude, that would like. So this is what I thought I was signing up for. And, uh, <laughs> oh, wow, okay. cat gills over wow, here. Wow, cat going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the propaganda dude from the newer industry. <laughs> they put this out, to hook dudes yeah, like fucking you, fucking Lucy Lou. <laughs> so wait, so you go to this motel? Does she look anything like this? Uh, no, she was about like five. It was like a five-one squat black chick who was like probably 44 <laughs> she was, all right you ready in the new room her name was new room yeah. <laughs> yeah she was uh you know she was smelled like fucking like cigars dude i like went in and it was just i was on like a shitty motel bed and she just like slid and got me out you know when you're greasy in a bed I don't oh, ever been greasy it's so in uncomfortable bed. yeah like i was all greasy and i was like rubbing sheets and I, she was like yeah and i was like just fucking i don't want to i want to get out of here man did fucking... you shower up do you know that's when you got to drive home like a fucking frog dude you're fucking all <laughs> slithery and you got to like drive home like, oh. everybody knows you went to a motel <laughs> some lady just climbed all over him <laughs> and then he left dude i love that you're all all fucking slimy on your back. Oh, it's like you can't. So is that the only time you got a Nuru? Yeah, that was the one and done, dude. That's that wasn't like wasn't exactly selling me on it. I mean, this looks great. The yeah, video we we're turn watching. This porn off, dude. <laughs> yeah. You try to get Nuru? No, it was just a lady with like halitosis in my face, just like rubbing her body all over me, and I was in a bed, just face down, like what the fuck am I doing? And then she's getting in, and then okay, and, Whoa. Then, she, and then she just goes to actual sex. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hey, good for her. New room massage. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, give it a go. Yeah. Oh fuck, dude, we gotta end the show. God damn it! Mm. I just learned about Nuru. <laughs> I'm gonna do another hour on Nuru. <laughs> Jacob, slid it all over my back on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, get ready to fucking Nuru me on Thursday. <laughs> Matt and Shane's secret podcast on iTunes. Shane Gillis, Matt McCusk McCusker. I always fuck it McCusker. up here. McCusker. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Call me whatever you want. Just dude. Matt, dude. Just a Matt, Matt X, dude. I'm about to lose my life. Oh, Matt X, dude. I love yeah. it. Thanks for podcast on iTunes. And then Mike Racine, thanks for coming in, dude. Check out the sit down, which is about not snitching. Sure is. I had a girlfriend one time. I cheated on her, and she told every told my family and told my friends and everything. Yeah. And then she cheated on me. I told one person. See? 
That's, that's, why, who, that's who I am. That's why you can do a podcast. <laughs> I don't give up anybody. You don't give up nobody. You take it, even if it hurts the most. Strong closing statement. Yeah, goddamn right. Strong closing statement. You let, you, Mike Racine <laughs> lets you know exactly where he's coming from. Bam, don't fucking snitch. Uh, Big J back tomorrow with Robert Kelly. Could be an interesting episode. Heard it could get legal. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. Mm. I'll be back with Big J on Thursday. Shane, Matt, Mike, thanks for coming in. Thanks. Hell yeah. Thanks. Gillette, nice try. <laughs> <laughs>